All right. Hi, friends. Welcome in. Welcome, everyone. So glad to see you. So glad to see all of you. Um, and especially those of you who are in on the video recording, thank you for supporting my channel. My dear friend Aprilic, thank you for showing up, for showing up early, for always being here. Appreciate seeing you um, as usual. I enjoyed your stream today. Um, and it was fun to see both digging and fighting. Unfortunately, I did miss a good portion of it because I was I had a bunch of work to do this morning. You know how it is. But I made sure that I was there regardless. Oh, it was good to see Shadow, you know, popping in there at the end. He had been gone for so long, I thought his university might have eaten him. Was it buggy? <clears throat> I missed that. So the only thing I saw was, you know, you losing health, which I assume was from missing. I assumed that was the integra integration. Oh, he has. Okay, that's good to hear. That is good to hear. Whew. Oh, you beat a Big Mama Horde. That's good to see, especially because I know last time it was quite a fight to take out those zombie hordes, especially the uh, the big one. Let's see, do we have sound? Oh, we do have sound. Let's turn it up a little. All right, I think that should do. So where we left off, for those of you who were not here for the last episode, we have begun with the building of our base, which is located next to this very cool um, spire. Where is the spire that I got going? Yeah, see those, those two little mountains I thought were pretty neat. Um, we also um, have kind of a cool ramp that will come up here that will allow us to enter into the mountain. I think it'll be a lot of fun to make a mountain base like the dwarves of old. Welcome, Viking Wolf. So glad to see you. I did, in fact, get a dryer um, installed, which will help you if you get wet in the fountain. But, you know, I have been having a bit of electrical issues with it, so I hope that you'll be really careful. Um, it shouldn't have any issues, but, you know, just if it doesn't turn on, that's why. Um, give the button a little shake. Um, and it should be okay. I made sure that it can be opened with your nose. So keep that in mind. Um, but anyway, uh, it, it's good to hear, uh, Aprilic, that you were able to defeat a big mama zombie horde. Those ones are particularly difficult, as I know. And they're scary, man. They are scary. Okay, so I'm going to immediately go into digging. Um... So that's big enough for a door, a garage door. We probably want it to be a little bit further back here. I'm not too worried about the dirt itself because any dirt we want, we can end up replacing it. Um, if we come in here, let's say this will be our garage area. So we'll want to drive in here, which means we're going to want a way out. That way we don't have to turn our car around. So we're probably going to need another ramp out this way. Maybe out into this, uh, this little, oh, hello, this little valley here. All right, chicken. Is there a snake, too? No, I thought I saw something in the grass there, and I was like, wow. A lot of food right when we logged in. That's always nice to have. I don't know if you feel this way, those of you who play Seven Days to Die, but I feel like one of the last tools I find is a hunting knife. So I'll be using a bone knife probably for quite some time. Um, so, Aprilic, tell me about your bugs that you were experiencing, and were you experiencing those bugs because of the Twitch integration, or were you experiencing those bugs because of the game itself? Machete, yeah. Well, machete and knife. I mean, the machete is the upgraded knife, right? Um, so yeah, I can see why you would get a machete later. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, okay. Um, two, three, four, five, six. Did I make that bigger? This should be seven. Hi, Charlie. You're coming in here to annoy me because I'm on my stream now? She's left me alone pretty much all morning. 
So it is now time to stream, which means it's time to meow at me. But we love her because she's adorable, and so I won't complain too much. Hmm. That does sound annoying, Aprilic. <clears throat> I was kind of concerned that I was going to have some problems with Twitch Studio myself. Fortunately, I was able to kind of kind of fix them. Um, so I'm glad that that wasn't a um, company-wide thing like that black bar was. But I'm glad that you were able to get it sorted out um, in the end. Or I suppose before the beginning, right? Hmm. I see. Did you figure out why that was, Aprilic? Oh, you know what I should do? I should also log in. Hang on a sec, guys. We're going to log into our channel, which means we're going to get our friends here on the uh, call. It is Mirth. Um, hi, gentlemen. <laughs> Started it up yet? Um, yeah, it's up. If you guys, you can guys can come in. Okay. All right. So there, my push to talk is properly on. Okay, good. We're back in. Yeah, Morgan's online. Wonderful. Yeah, my appointment got moved till tomorrow. So glad to hear it, brother. Glad to see you here. You know, uh, hmm. as you... You know, Aprilic, I did notice that the stream ended, like, suddenly. I thought it must have been on my end, but maybe that's why. Sorry, my, uh, Moss, I missed you out on the end there. Um, what were you saying? I was saying that I have a personal insane game that I play, but I found it almost impossible to not die in it if you're a single player because there's no way you can get the focus of the zombies off you. And once it's on, you, you're you're dead. Oh yeah, it can be quite tough. I strongly agree with you, especially with those ferals, man. Are you guys logging in? Yes. Are you playing a game, by the way? Uh, just just this one. I'm on my way in. Uh. I think. I see. Yeah, because I was listening, and at that point I was in the other room, because, you know, at the close to the end of your stream, Aprilic, is, of course, right when my stream is about to begin, so usually I'm eating breakfast as quickly as possible. Um, and so I heard you speaking, and then all of a sudden you were just gone. And I was like, oh, did I have connection issues? And I came back in, and the stream had closed, and I just assumed it was me. So I'm sorry to hear that you were having so much issues with your stream. Uh, but, you know, with such consistent, um, consistent streaming and consistently good work, I'm sure that your con constituents will not hold it against you, right? We need another torch. Where can we get another torch? Okay, I'm in, and I have about almost half a bar of red, I see. Okay, Moss, I've sent you an invite. How long before Horde Night? Um, well, I guess the next one is day 21, and it's day 17. Wheat. I got more time to build my base. Yeah, that's what I'm working on too. Doing some digging into the base right now. But you know, as you guys know, I make such big bases, it will not be done for a very long time. I like going into the air. Yeah, and you know, Carl, I really like your your bases. They have a great Japanese feel to them with the architecture, and of course, the uh, lifting up into the sky is both dramatic and inspiring. <laughs> uh-huh yeah i hear you i also that chuckle was specifically for the idea of this you know large wolf sitting in a prolix lap which amuses me greatly So some of the things that we'll have to consider when making this portion of the base is we're going to want a way to exit, 
but we probably want a space where we're going to park our car as well because if we have anyone coming through the base or using this area of the base we don't want to have our car in the middle of the road so to speak oh yeah mm -hmm. something that you're used to then acrylic you know there is something comforting about the weight of a large animal um I need coffee. I feel like Grim all of a sudden. Why don't we make a trip? Um, back to base. We can't really make cement right now, so I'm not like too worried about that. But we will dump off some of this stuff. We'll move some of our stuff from the other base. That way we can uh, start functioning Morgan, from here. Morgan, uh, accept the invite if, if, unless you're not in. Not in yet. Um, all right, Carl, I sent you an invite. Thank you. Oh man, we've got what well, we're gonna. One of our challenges that we're gonna have to make is we're gonna have to build our own road that will kind of take us to this little pathway here, and we might need to smooth out some of the road here so that we'll be able to drive. Um, I don't know effectively across this area, but ultimately it'll be okay. That'll give us the opportunity to make more bridges. You got zombies attacking me already. And that kind of stuff is fun. By the way, to those of you who are civil engineers. It is surprisingly difficult to make a bridge. More challenging than I would have expected, you know? I thought, oh, it's just you know, some material over water. Turns out it's a little harder than that. So kudos to you for doing the world a great service with your skill and with your talent. Of course I left my food behind, huh? How far have I left? Too far. Well, we're just going to go without food. I noticed we were running low on stamina, friends. Did you now, Aprilic? Tell me about that. Under what circumstances were they teaching you uh, bridge building? It is hard. <laughs> It is hard. Oh, dang, I missed that guy. Oh, yeah, the maths. Yep. That's kind of the problem with all engineering, right? Like, why does it include so much math? Physics. I just kind of stopped in here to see if we can find some food. Because my stamina is running pretty low. Whoops. Oh, buddy. Did not see you at all. You blended in with the uh, coal there. Oh, jeez. Hey. Mm hmm Right. That makes a lot of sense. Fortunately, I don't have to worry too much about weight bearing in this game. I mean, of course, there is some weight physics um, inherent in the engine of the game. Um, but, you know, it's not like it's not going to... If it holds at all, it will hold my car or my vehicle, or whatever it is that I'm going across the bridge, so I don't have to worry about too much of, you know, weight limits and that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we found some food in here? I'd feel very appeased. Doesn't look like there's going to be food. That's all right, though. I don't want 
that pipe pistol. Maybe I'll p bring it anyway. I don't think I have a gun that sh currently shoots 9mm. Be a good idea to have it in case I run out of other ammunition. Which I'm about to do with this shotgun, to be honest with you. If anybody's bored, they can come over and cook me some bacon and eggs. I got everything set up. Uh, you know, I'm actually on my way to your area, so I can do that for you. I'd appreciate it. I don't have a lot, but I need something. <laughs> sure. Do we have any quests to turn in? No. Good to know. If we're passing by the trader, might as well see if we had to turn anything in. We are going to be quite a distance from civilization this time. But Frank... Oh, hey, check it out. I've never seen that before. That's a cute little uh, sign. I wonder how they made that. Huh. Neat. Very neat. Very cool. The things they come up with, guys, they being the game developers, you know? I would never have thought to use shapes like that to create a, uh, a bee. Although I'm sure it does make a difference that they don't have to mine everything, you know? Not that that's a true excuse, friends. Just that that would make a difference, having it all available to you at all times. Is Matt going to join us today? Uh, yeah, he should be here. He said he had to do some work before he got on, so I don't know what time he'll be logging on with us, but he said he'd be here. Yeah, that's right. I talked to him last night. Hopefully we have some food here, but I think I grabbed all the food anyway. So unless we inadvertently left some, I think we're going to have some trouble. Why don't we bring this with us? Oh, I don't have a land claim down. I forgot my land claim. Let's check our cooking station first. Nothing. Who's killing the zombies? That was me. Looks like I do have some food. Good for me. Might as well leave it here in case this happens again. I don't care now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. So we're just going to take our, do I have cloth somewhere? Yeah, I do, we'll take our cloth. And I 
I think I'll leave most everything else behind. We'll bring some extra food so that we can make food down south. Am I actually south? Yeah, that's, you know, southwest is where our base is right now. So we'll call that southwest for now. We'll just leave the rest here. Hi, buddy. Wow, you came from a long way. Crawling all the way over here to kill me. This is Moss. No, that's Morgan. Hey, Carl, I'm riding up on you right now. Okay, sweet. Uh, where is your campfire? On top of my building. Oh, right over here. Yeah, I see it. Okay, great. Thanks. Oh, you know what I should do here? I'm going to put my meat in here so we don't get mixed up. Grab his. Bacon and eggs. All right, my friend. You've got some cooking in there. Thank you. No problem. Moss, do you need anything before I uh, scoot out? No, I got it. Thank you. Cool. I kind of feel like since we're near the city, right, we should just do a little bit of looting. Or maybe it's just that I'm feeling antsy. Let's put away some of this garbage real fast. We'll keep this. Okay. And we'll just check out this... Uh, I'm going to do this tier 3 fetch clear if you want to join me. I'm just going to do it real fast before I head back. Well, I want to join you, definitely. All right. I'll be there as soon as I can. It's nearby, so. Yeah, that was just the double check that it was mine, friends. I don't have any torches on me. That's kind of a problem. I'm going to be blind as a bat. You on your way, Moss? Yeah, I see him coming now. I just got the red off me. Nice. Just in time to put it back on. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, we've done this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, There's it's more... activated. We know the birds are on the roof here. So why don't we take care of those guys immediately, maybe? No, oh, they're activating. <gasps> Uh-oh. I don't mess with birds, friends. Ding! It's not loaded. There we go. Only had one shot in the chamber. Always check the chamber.
check. What the heck? Just, hey, what are you doing down there? Guy almost killed me. Oh, we're in trouble now. Oh. Yeah, right. Good thing we had that escape route or we would be dead. That was a very fortunate ladder. Better to be lucky than good. back up here. Isn't this the one that had the dog? Uh, I'm not sure. I think somebody had a green pig over here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no, yeah, that's right. I think that was a different uh, point of interest, though, so hopefully that hasn't respawned. I hope not. No! Ow. Now we're How'd really you get in trouble. In the house here? In real trouble. Out how you got in the house from the roof I don't see a hole up here are you on the uh, roof I found, I found it I found it that guy like shifted the last second to dodge that bullet you see that what the heck my bullets pass through his chest, and not in a good way. Okay, I'm down below, so if you run this way, I can help you. Good thing I used that med kit, or I would be dead. All right, this is locked. Sure is. It'd be bummer to start the day off with a death, am I right? It'd be also kind of funny, huh? What's up, lady? No. Why doesn't this door close? Dang, those guys are tanks. We got a green. We got an irradiated in here. Let's check our check our chambers here. Cuz I do not like That's not good. Whew. That was a close call. I did way. not expect you to open that door. Sorry, I should have warned you. Oh, repairs? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, jeez, I'm dead. Bring him in here. No, I got trapped in between two zombies. 
<sighs> My gun breaking was not good. My gun broke halfway through. Too bad. I think I can kill him from a minute, but it's going to take me a minute. I'm all the way out here now. Left Don't my bike. Come in, Morgan. You'll be sorry. I'm not coming in. <laughs> That's okay. We'll walk. We'll call this the walk of shame. Yeah, we have some on the outside here, too. Damn pipe machine gun. That's why you don't depend on a pipe machine gun, friends. I am in trouble now. Looks like this quest. I couldn't uh, run fast enough. Are you going to live, Moss? Don't know. I got five of them. Five of them here. Well, if he's still alive, he's probably going to live. Unless he gets into more trouble, right? Here's the green one, too. The green ones, the green ones do regenerate, so she might be all the way healed up. Looks like Moss is taking some damage. <laughs> I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Welcome back, Fluff Girl. Um, Fifty-four. I hope that you are. Well today. Well in away. Sweet, I finally killed her.
you know, there's a whole herd of them out here. I'm moving. Yeah, they all came out because I, they could get to me. I see one, two, three, four, five. Well, stay safe. I tell you, that green one's hard to kill. Yeah, she's a monster. I'm just trying to heal back up. There's I was eight down of them. To, yeah, I was down to seven health. Yeah, I counted eight. Yeah, there and the green one, that's that's three right there. And I'm out of ammo. All I have is my spear, and that's worthless. <laughs> yeah, you can't even throw it now, huh? That's right. Yeah, I was totally unprepared for this. Me too. Still chasing me. They'll do it for a while, Carl. That quest killed all of us. Yep. Rest in peace, us. I had to have more arrows. I was just out of arrows. Those green ones are tough to take down with arrows. Yeah, they are. They heal pretty quickly, so you have to keep the, uh, the damage coming. But you know what? I'm going to loot that place anyway. Did you make it to the loot at the end? I saw it. All right. But there go... was uh, still a logging guy over there, and that's where they got to me, was the logging guy. I'm going to see if I can't get the loot. It's yours. Oh, man. All right, welcome up. You guys are not my goal, so I'm going to mostly ignore you. I just wanted that guy because, you know, I'd almost killed him anyway. Might as well get that sweet, well, you killed sweet another experience. One. That's good. Yep. Wasn't the green one, though, was it? No. Those guys are asleep. I'm making some more arrows now so I can come over. Yeah, I'm not going to do this with six arrows either. Can we make some more? 
Nope, we don't have the stones. Alright. Let's go in. Nah, that way got me killed last time. So, let's go this way. It's going to be nightfall soon, gentlemen. Did you get the loot? Not yet. We've got a bunch of zombies here. Yeah, I just don't have any arrows. I, I'm not going to be any help. You got any uh, stones on you, Carl? How about you, Moss? You got any stones on you? I can bring some. I oh, have. You... I have stones. All right. Um, you mind dropping them for me, Carl? I'm out of. Uh, I'm out of arrows. Thank you. They're going to start running here in about two hours. Stop running, you monster! Dang, those guys are so freaking tough. There we go. I'm coming now. Don't have much help, I'll be. Here, Carl, let me give you your stones back. Thanks a lot. Did you get the loot? Uh, well, I think so. Good. Boy, I'm so out of stamina. Are they all dead? I didn't see the green ones. Keep your eyes peeled for her. It, she chased me quite a ways out. Um, you guys can have this reinforced chest if you want. I don't. I don't open them low level. How about this bag on the table? Uh, the bag with the guns in it. You can have that, Carl. Nice. How does that not work? Green zombie behind the counter. Oh, it's this way. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, she's the one that killed us all. I guess she just returned to yes. her spot. What a monster. Yeah, and this early a game to have a green one? That's sad. Yeah, pretty tough. Let's pop into this place, too. Hopefully we can get that uh, taste of failure out of our mouth, you know? Or we'll uh, take another bite. Thank you. Oh, you know what? It's almost nighttime. 
maybe we won't pop in here. Well, that was worth it. I got a rad. Oh, good for you. There was a book and a rad. I give you this, Carl. This minute. Don't know if it helps. All right, I guess that works for me. A little bit of, uh, just a little bit of treasure, right? All right, we better get out of here. It's dark. Yep. I bet Trader Rect sent us there knowing we'd die. That was tough. It's a level three. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's tough. Yeah, that green guy. see we're much further away than we thought why don't we stop at home over here at our kind of temporary base and that will we'll use it as a base of operations while we're looting this area because i don't really want to ride all the way back to the base we're building when i put the rad in my bow there's really nothing there waiting for us maybe i should put it in my gun but you know i run out of bullets so easily Me too, Moss. I only got 26 bullets, period. <laughs> Chase! Guess I should fill that hole. Man, if, if a level 3 kills all of us, we, we are in real trouble. We'll be okay. I believe we in will. us. We, we just got... We have to just learn to keep together and, you know, not get trapped like that. Both of us got trapped. Yeah, is that how you died too, Moss? Yeah, I, I was up on a ladder. I thought I was out of the way, but uh, I had a fat lady climb up on top of the shoulders and got me. I do, Aprilic, yeah. Very happy to have it. Yeah, I got stuck in a doorway between two zombies. They had a field day with me. Yep. Um, we will, we'll call that good. Uh, I don't know if, uh, where the heck I put all of those bacon and eggs. Oh, I think I left them here, which is actually good for me because that means they are here for us already. Yep, here they are. Night time. Yep, they'll be running now. Behind me. Oh, it's Arlene. Arlene, I thought we were friends. I guess I hadn't upgraded that thing, huh? Oh, she might be feral? Can't really tell. Does she have glowing eyes? Can't even tell. No, I hit my torch! Well, 
Uh oh, we're calling in some more. Let's close our door this time. That will give us some time to replace this. We do have a uh, hammer on us. Yes, we do. Good for us. All right. Now let's see if we can't open this door again. That's not going to work for us, huh? It would have been nice if it had, right? Alright, let's go back to our inventory management if they let us, right? Close the door behind me this time. We are looking for fat and cloth. We have cloth in here. cloth in here. Right? Yes. Okay, good. And... We might have taken all of our fat to the other base. That's kind of the problem with having two bases right now, is that we're a bit spread out. So it looks like we won't be able to make more torches. I need an escape out of here. What am I thinking? I'll have to... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to create an escape. Let's do that now. Uh, Man, it's dark out here. There. That should suit us in case that happens again. We don't not gonna worry about a hatch. It's too dark. Too dark to go out, my friends. Especially without additional torches. We'll grab that one. We can turn this to iron at our forge. in case. Yeah, that's what I thought. We were going to have a collapse. Didn't want my torch to go with it.
can maybe build a ladder first. Annoying. There. I love that this guy uses one hand for his pickaxe, right? No repair kits. Oh, and it's less dark, so we might be able to go out for a little while. Do I have a pipe? Welcome, Five Nights Gamer. Welcome to the channel. Glad to have you today. How you doing? So we really don't want to be caught in the middle of a hole. But, you know, we can't just stand here while well, night time comes and these zombies are just a bit too hard for us to be go wandering around in the darkness. So, good time to collect iron. So every time I do a large amount of digging, I always count the strikes. I don't know why. I guess it gives, you know, gives my mind some occupation with the uh, the tedium of mining. Let me know if any of you guys do that. I had a chubby guy almost turn my base down. Bummer. Is that right? Those guys yeah, can be I, pretty tough. I shot him 30 times. <laughs> 30, wow. That's okay, Prilic. I, I was just out with 46 arrows. I only got eight left. mentioning that I uh, I count my strikes while I mine. Stone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using iron arrows now. That I helps. do, Aprilic. Yeah, I am not that far along. I do. I like to shape my mine in the way that I like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do. Looks like you and I uh, we have the same policy here, Aprilic. Yeah. You know, I used to prefer the auger, acrylic, um, but then I found that 
it didn't really save me that much time. So if I'm just strictly just for mining, I'll use the auger. It, it's a little faster. But for building, I find that the pickaxe is just better. Oh yeah. Could be OCD. But, you know, our minds like to be occupied. Could be that. Uh, to Five Nights Gamer? Nope. I responded. Said hi. You're all good, Aprilic. How is your editing going today, my friend? Oh, yeah. I hear you. Well, your your uh, Twitch integration really brings a, a unique challenge for you, Aprilic. I mean, of course, people can help you by increasing your speed or feeding you or dropping you weapons, but, you know, that does little to help when um, you have a mixed bag. All right, we've got about one more hour of mining in game time. And then we'll go back to exploration. I'm gonna see if I can't replace that quest from Wrecked. Mm -hmm. Replace it? It sure does, Aprilic. How do you mean? I mean to say, uh, you know, get a new one. Oh yeah. You'd try it all over again. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Well, if at first you don't succeed, die, die again. <laughs> that's right. Somebody's got to feed zombies. Uh, at least this time I'll have some arrows to go into the darn thing. Oh, yeah. You have iron arrows right now, Moss? Mm, I do. I don't. I use all mine up on one zombie. All 30. Yeah, I got eight left. And no feathers. <laughs> I've got some extra feathers I can give you, Carl. I, I wouldn't turn them down. <laughs> Great. When I uh, see you again, I'll drop some. I always have too many feathers in the end anyway, friends. Feathers is one of those things that it's really important for the first few days, and then after that, it's like, well, now I have a whole store of them. I got rid of all my red. All right, that's enough for one night. Daylight. Well. Why don't we bring this with us? 
I want to make sure that we bring it back to our base and you know I have a tendency to forget things so we'll make sure that it's on us for that very reason You know, it was really foggy this morning here as well. In Texas, you mean? Oh, yeah. Now it's as hot as Hades, of course. Wow, shouldn't be hot right this time of year. Yeah, you'd think so, but Texas is an odd place. Oh, I guess he doesn't open till 6.05, huh? So we can, what do we have nearby? Let's check out that building while we wait. Oh, you know what? This poopy care, poopy pants daycare usually has a good amount of books. So why don't we check out that? I ran over a deer on accident. Poor deer. Yeah, I came around a tree and he was in my way. Didn't see me and I didn't see him. A bad day for both of you. No, uh, I'm harvesting you. Huh? She just fell to the floor. That's ridiculous. Charlie. This is my cat, Charlie. She says hi. All right, lady. Oh, dog. Not like dogs. Not a fan. <laughs> um, I'm sure she gets the pets over the cosmos there, Aprilic. Oh, yep, here she comes. She's coming back. I already fed you, sweetheart. I fed you before the stream. Sorry, buddy. She's buttering me up. She's like, you got food. I know you do. And she's right. I do have food, but I'm not giving it to her. <laughs> she has a whole bowl of food. Okay, it looks like it's time to go to the trader, huh? Uh, yeah, about. You got about another hour. I have two quests to turn in there too. All right. Sorry for the the bit of distraction there. For those of you who have a cat, you know how uh, how adorably disruptive they can be. Spear, we don't want that. But now I have cat hair on my nose from her uh, her tail. Yep, yeah, birds. That's what I was looking for. I like birds about the same amount that I like dogs. Not very much. Buddy, you coming up or what? He's kind of all over the place, isn't he? Wow, you're killing a lot of zombies over there. Yeah, just doing some exploring while I wait the trader to open. Ah, great idea, Prilic. I got to upgrade my base to uh, cobblestone before 21, because you got to have at least cobblestone at, at that point. 
Yeah, I'm yeah. Don't you have a couple of completed quests you have to turn in, Morgan? I don't know. I'll look. I think you yeah. do. I think you have one or two. She likes to rub her face on the mic, you know. Give everyone all over the world a bit of uh, no green check mark. feedback. That's too bad. Man, That's this does I not feel. look safe to me. I'm not dropping down that hole. I already died once from doing that today. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe another entrance? Nope. That's, <laughs> that, that, that's right, Aprilic. That's right. She has to mark the uh, the mic as her own. Oh. This door's open. Who knew? I woke someone up. Hello, lady. Ah, uh, I see. So, uh, you have a, uh, a desk mic then, Aprilic. That's cool. Very fancy. Yeah, I knew you were behind there, buddy. Oh, you're feral. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't like ferals. Let's... Get out of here. Ding! That guy hurt. Okay. You can't see your keyboard. That must be tough, Aprilic. But I suppose you're used to it by now, right? Alright, where are you, my... Feral friend. You know what? Our trader's open. Let's leave this guy. See you, dude. Why do that for free, right? Oh, yeah. I could see why that would be uh, why that would be a problem, Aprilic. Look at him. He wants to come get me no matter what. Some diligence. What's up, Erect? Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die in my store. Whatever, dude. Fetch Let's clear. Oh, Poopy Pants Daycare. See? Like I was saying, we were doing that for free. Don't you have work to I got one at the uh, Poopy right. Pants Daycare if you guys are interested. Okay. Yeah, um, I got to turn in a couple of quests and I'll be right there. I don't want to buy that. Let's see, how many do I have? I'll buy it. I can make my own friends, but since I'm here, might as well get them. There. Team. Thanks, buddy. Oh, we didn't bring any food with us, huh? Dang. Did this guy have food? Right. Did you have food? Not really, huh? On my way to the trader now. Fine. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. We're only... Where are we? 300 meters from base anyway. If we get real in trouble... About halfway. While we wait for everyone else to make it to the trader, why don't we go get some food and actually carry it with us this time? Uh, sorry, I forgot. Did you guys want to uh, join me for this? Yeah. Okay. It's another tier three. Yeah, I'll be there just as soon as I get done cleaning this chicken. No rush. I have to run back for some food anyway. 
I don't want to have to fight with a uh, stamina deficit. Agreed. Guess we don't have any water that's prepped. So let's cook some. While we're here, might as well empty our inventory, right? Oh, they increased that to 10? Brutal. Alright, that'll just have to do for now. Okay, I'm headed there now. On my way. So I did a little bit of a, I don't know, a preliminary scouting, and there are both dogs and uh, birds, so be careful. Okay, I'm on my way over. Was this the, uh, oh no, the big lake is where you were trying to build, right, Carl? Yes, that's one of my place. It's almost all the way to the ground. Were where you, you able? Going, Carl? No, that's me, uh, Moss. You're going the wrong way. Oh, okay. I was coming towards you. <laughs> There we go. We'll just wait on Carl. He should be here soon. Might as well check out the... general area. We've already looked back there. Okay. All right, well, if Carl's going to take more than a minute, why don't we poke our heads in here? What? He's still here. Where'd you go, dude? We're all here. Ah, <laughs> Tyranthir, welcome. So glad to see you. Um, I just feel like it's too quiet without you around, friend. All right, I'm coming around. I was checking out the back while I was waiting, so I'm coming back to the front. I've got a gentleman following me, though. We might want to give him a warm welcome. Thank you for the cheer, Tyranthir. You know, that kind of rhymes, right? It's nice. All right, waiting for him to come around. Yeah, 
Well, let's start it. If I could roll out the red carpet for you, Tyranthir, I would. And I would litter it with trash and other delicious things. Come back here to fight. I got this going. This will help. Cool. I think I just shot Moss in the... Oh, no. It didn't pass through this door. Give me my arrow. Thank you. Can't close that door. Bad feeling about this. You guys coming from the ceiling? Watch it, Moss. You're about to get uh, surrounded. Oh, we got a crawler here as well. Where's my hammer? Yeah, buddies, you were too slow. Warn me if you're opening a door. Yeah, we got one behind us. It's the feral. Watch it. Behind us. He's after you, Moss. <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, I'm about to open this door. You want to set up your hammer, Moss? All right, I'm opening it. <laughs> that lady got pushed. Dang, that thing's pretty effective, Moss. Yeah, it helps. I never use it. It's good to see it in action. All right. Don't need you, but I need you. And let's swap out nothing else. Through In here. Fact. Welcome back, Charlie. Your bowl is full. I cross my heart. <laughs> That's right, Aprilic. She does need love. It, actually, that is what it is, Aprilic. She likes... Um, she doesn't like to go to bed by herself, you know? Move, Carl, move. So she's saying, hey, it's time, time to take a nap. But it is not time to take a nap. Hey, that's a nice bow, Moss. Wow, that thing's awesome, Moss. Did you find that? No, it was reward. What the heck just hit me? Oh, that guy's passing through the floor. I hate it when they break the rules. 
I wondered how I got hit. The rules are, you know, the laws of physics. I know, right? <laughs> Swimming through the floor? Definitely not fair. Hey, come here, you... That's right. <laughs> Swimming. Aprilic, that is funny. Lucky goggles in here, if you want. That guy's a feral. You should be very careful. Yeah. I knew you were coming out of there. This one's another feral. Oh no. Come here, lady. <laughs> nice, Carl. You know, they've really updated this area. Okay, we can retreat out here. The last here, time I went to a, uh, a poopy pants daycare, it was not like this at all. Very cool. So it'll block them from here. Dog. Dang. Dang, dog. That was scary. Sprained my leg or my arm? Leg. You jerk! That was my favorite leg! I don't choose favorites, guys. They choose me. Repair our armor real quick. You know, they really should let you repair these things while they're on. The ladder. Like, why they don't let you do that, I don't know. You gotta take each one off individually. Oh, I left my torch. Oh, that's how you get in there, huh? Neat. I'm going to have to walk for a while. Sprained leg. Real bummer. I'm on the roof. One of the jump. Every time I do that, it adds more time to my sprained leg.
Nice job up here, Moss. Thank you. Oh, they're going to make me jump. Let's see if we can avoid that. We have to find re river supplies. Do not leave. Uh, one of your guys is, is up here in my location. It's on the, uh, I don't know if that's a balcony or what. I could be in there. Huh? Cat hair. All over my face, guys. I think it's also stuck in my gloves. There we go. Here's the hole down the floor. Down. To go down. This is where it gets tough. Uh, it looks like my satchel oh, is on the floor. go down there and put the sledge up. Just don't get into Although trouble, I'm... Moss, because I don't really know where you are. I'm over here in the corner. Oh no. Did you go down? Uh, no, I'm just uh, ran into some zombies. Yeah, and I think that's where my bag is. Uh, Moss, that was good. You found I yours. I got mine. Good. All right, are you downstairs in the main Do we building have now? Some of this. I'm on the main floor. I think my bag is on the main floor, but the zombies are here. Well, be careful. They're coming in, uh, Carl, so be careful. Unless I killed them. Looks like I did. Good for me. I think I Wait. see the loot down here. Oh, that's a feral. That's a feral, Carl. Be careful. You're taking some heavy hits, Carl. Those guys are so hey, tough. Oh, my ammo. Heal up. You got anything to heal up with? I'm working on it. Move. <laughs> Move. All right. Uh, man alive, where is my satchel? Oh, right here in plain view. Lucky Bunch of zombies me. in here. Just a minute, let me set the sledge. Okay, you said there was a way. Did you say there was a basement, Moss? No, there's zombies right here. But where's my sledge? Where did I put my sledge at? Yeah, uh, over here at this door, Moss. Did you say that there was a basement? You no, know, right here. There's a bunch of zombies. Oh, jeez. Oh dang, he's running. Careful there, Moss. Come back in. Get the sledge. He's a blood fountain.
This looks dangerous to me. Nice, this is the loot. Oh, jeez, they're all over us. Guys, my damn spear left. I shot that guy right in the face and he took it like it was nothing. buddy. I got the two that followed me in here. You got him? Nice, Carl. <coughs> Good for you. All right, big ugly is down. Behind you. you open this chest. Start working on it. Black bag over here for you, more uh, um, a mirror. Cool, thanks. I'm beating on the safe. Yeah, the black bag's for mirror anyway. All right, you can take the rest of the stuff in there. Make sure you got your uh, chest before you go back. I have it. Thanks. Hey, level six primitive bow. Good for me. Yeah, I really like the improvements they made to this area. It used to kind of be just, you know, one big room. But they kind of kept the fact that it had a lot of books, and so that's nice. Somebody's satchel's here if you haven't already got it. Yeah. I mean, it's a it's a really big improvement. Anything worthwhile in there, Morgan? Not really. Not really. There was a treasure map, though, and uh, a time charge and 29. Well, treasure map's oh. nice. Yep, it is. Good find, guys. I don't worry about the uh, those locked chests early game. I know you can pick them, but I really have picks on me. I don't feel okay, like. Okay, I think I got to fetch this close to here. It's only uh, a few meters away. 
Oh yeah, I'll do that with I, you, Moss. 160 meters away. Let's go do that one. It's, I can't uh, can't run. So this is something that I wish they would let us do: is to make chain link fence. That'd be so cool. But they don't let you make that in this game. It wouldn't be very useful defensively, to be fair, which means the zombies would end up breaking through them really fast and therefore be kind of a pain to for upkeep. But they look cool, right? Bottomless Barrel Buffet. I don't think I've ever done this one, Moss. Where are you? Yes, that's what I want. I'm coming now. You coming, Morgan? No, I got to take a pee break, and so I'm going to head back to my building. No problem. Moss, in this uh, more power truck, I left a book in there that I already read. More power. It's at your uh, location, your quest location. Okay. Oh, I read it too. Hmm. Bummer. Uh, it's 5 p.m. We should probably get this started sooner rather than later. Are you here? Can I start it? Um, I don't know. Check. Does it say I'm in the area? Morgan will fail, but not you. Okay, go ahead and hit it. Did you get it? Yes, I did. And I'm actually looking at my bag right now. Uh, I have to get inside to go for it. There's no way I'm going to chop down this uh, bulletproof glass. What kind of a buffet has bulletproof glass? What kind of neighborhood is this? They come through here. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, Aprilic. Hopefully this works so out for us. here's where we retreat back to. And plus, I have a sprained leg, so I can't even run or jump, right? I mean, I guess I can, but really, I shouldn't be. Detroit! That is funny, Abrilic. That is funny. Hi, Charlie. You know what I bet it is? I bet it's because her puzzle's empty. That's got to be what it is. She likes her food puzzle, huh? And you like food in the puzzle so you can grab it. Here's what I'm going to do, friends. After this quest, I'm going to get her her food puzzle. It'll only take me about you know a minute or two to fill her puzzle. So it's not like the stream's going to end or anything. I'm just giving you a heads up that I'll go AFK for about 45 seconds or something like Pretty that. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Actually, why don't I do that? Right now, I know, sweetie. You're. I'll leave it here so we retreat Hold on. back to I'll here. I'll be right okay? back, Moss. I'll be right back, guys. Like, sixty seconds. I like that, Abrilic. Beep that snoot. Yep, now she has uh, treats in her puzzle. That's what she likes to do. 
So yeah, I do. You know, I do have. I have legs, acrylic. I do. It's <laughs> they're there. They exist. I'm actually very grateful to have legs, honestly. Oh man, hurting my leg all over again. Look at that. I was at 40 seconds, and now I'm I'm back up here. But yeah, anyway, my cat has a puzzle that she can get treats out of, and it's her favorite thing in in the whole world, besides us, of course. Um. <laughs> That's right, Abrilic. That's right. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Anyway, yep, I'm grateful to have legs. You know, when I was a teenager, I didn't think much of it, but now that I'm an adult, and I know people who, you know, are paralyzed from the neck down or some such, it makes you really grateful for what you have, you know? I'll bring this ledge up here. All right. I'm about 20 seconds left of a broken ant leg. Let's... In this door, you think? Sounds good to me. Dang it. No, there's another one. Thank you, Moss. Are you healed up? Yep, I did. Thanks. Let me see where to put the sledge. Oh, I you know. I'll, we're going to go up the ladder, so I think I'll put it down right here as we, as they come. Sounds good to me, Moss. You know, Prilic, right there. now that I have your sticker in my home, I was kind of thinking about this yesterday, and since you're mentioning the fact that you've now seen my legs and therefore have a confirmation that I do have legs, <laughs> um, I was thinking that... I think um, I'll bring it up here. Since I've only ever seen your avatar, and that is likely all I'll ever see, it is kind of like you're in my home. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, there's a prillic. <laughs> I hear him. So, actually, that's a pretty good advertisement for. Oh, geez, he's a feral. Fall back. Um, that's a pretty good advertisement for those of you who also watch a prillic. Get one of her stickers, or really anything, and it'll be just like you have her in your home. Um, so you're reminding me of my favorite bump bumper sticker of all time. Dang, he just walked right past that thing, Moss. Um, so I don't own this bumper sticker, but um, yeah, he... I saw it in Houston when I was visiting there, and it is Jesus Christ, and he is peeking out from behind a yeah. uh, the license plate, and he says. I saw that. <laughs> that was my favorite. Jeez! I had to take off that guy's head. My favorite bumper sticker. Thought it was hilarious. Yeah, he walked right by it. Yeah, he sure did. Yep, I, I saw it. Yeah, that's right. I saw you. You did. Like the gopher. Who's judging? Oh, Dog. Geez. Yeah, I see him. Oh, I don't have a broken leg anymore. I don't have to walk. That is so good. Dumb dog. Jeez! He climbed. Who knew dogs could do that? I saw that. I saw that. Oh, man. Now what am I going to do? Eat this, I guess. Uh, hey, Moss, do you need a scope for your crossbow? Yes. I'll give you a times four. Oh, I'd love it. Great. Uh, here it is. A 
I'm gonna heal. I know it's my last bandage, guys, but some of these zombies, they do 50 damage per hit, so that could be me dead in one shot, so I might as well heal up now. Oh, come on. Don't make me go down that Looks hole. Looks like there's a hole down here, too, by the way. All right. I'm gonna just peek down here. Yeah, that's what I thought. You tricky, tricky. So tricky. Can you make iron arrowheads, Mikey? I can, yeah. I do. Okay, if I give you some iron, can you make me some? Yeah, just come over. I got iron in there. Put iron in there and just make them yourself. You can make them. Just go to my forge. Okay. Uh, if you're coming in behind me, must be careful. It's a tight space. I do not feel yeah, safe be careful. here. Can we build a ladder? All right, what do you think? Well, I'm gonna see if I can't hit him through this door here. We got a fat mama on the other side. Oh man, we got a whole horde. Here, I'm gonna let him in and I'm gonna drop a Molotov on him. Maybe if I, can I collapse this? All right, you ready, Moss? All right, go ahead. Yeah, I'm ready. They're not coming in. They're like, I heard him. They heard me. Ah, welcome, Matt. Thank you, thank you. Set myself on fire. You gotta be kidding me. Jeez, what is stopping me? Always oh. on fire, right? I know, right? You got food? Can you, can you get food? No, I'm gonna die here. Oh, six health. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Thanks, Moss, no, for I that heal. You. That thing left me with six health. That was, uh, worrisome. Alright. I see you can get up there. I'm gonna go down there and put the sledge down, okay? Alright. I can't take that, I don't have enough water. This thing was blocking my head. You have to be removed. You know, I think I light myself on fire more often with Molotovs than with uh, than the zombies. Hey, it's about to be nightfall. I got a bad feeling about this. Hey, Moss, you have any water on you? Hey, thanks. Uh, make sure not to stand in the doorway. That sledge should stop him. Yeah, I don't know why, but it's not letting me get on your game. Um, is it blocking you when you're loading in? What's going on? It's just not popping up at all. Uh, I'll invite you here. Just a sec. Uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. I just got to make sure I'm not going to get killed while I do it. Mm-hmm. Holy cow, they're coming from above.
I might have figured it out. Alright. How did they get above us? Elephant. That was scary! Yeah, no joke. Don't want a bunch of zombies coming at us from behind and above. Talk about a bad day. But hey, we didn't die. And that's I what matters. Barely got, I barely got out of their way. Me too. That's a cop. He's going to spit at me. Hit. That spit's going to kill me in one hit. Like, seriously. Oh, jeez. Find White River Supplies. They're beneath me? I wish I could get him to come in here. So... Yep, still... That might have called in every zombie in the whole area. I'd like to get rid of this cop. We got a I cop. I how to do it. Is a cop up there? Yep. Gonna blow. Dang. Nasty. Okay, there's some more down here. Ah, welcome back, Tyranthier. I'm down below. Glad to see you. You just missed some gory fun. Can I put this down? Maybe? Oh, no, there's already a door here. Close that. That'll solve our problem. Uh, Moss, you can, uh, can you heal? Oh, you're gonna die, Moss. He's gonna die. There's a ladder right next to you, Moss. I've got a ladder here. Whew. Fat guy got me cornered. Uh, well, I figured out the door that they're coming through, maybe, so we shouldn't have them coming up behind us again. There you are. There's Matt in the game. I sent him an invite. Yep, already. I'm here. Uh, are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna peek my head down there, Moss. I put the ladder down one more. I really do not have enough light for this. He's behind me. Yes. I had two panic shots in there, you know? Watch it, you got a guy coming up behind you. And above us? I think we might have him coming up above us, too. Hard to say because I can't see a dang thing. That was a that was a close call there, Moss. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I don't know how I got up here. I think uh, I jumped up on him. I don't have any light. I think they must be coming at this door, but I can't confirm because I can't see a dang thing. Oh, it's just her night, huh? Uh, yeah. But yeah, they're coming at this door. Hey, Mott. While I'm yeah? waiting for my arrows, I noticed that in your trade goods you have a pipe machine gun and a book. There's a feral in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. 
Wait. She just hit me through the door. So glad that did not kill me. Holy cow. See how hard she hit me? Yes. Come on, come on. Alright, the feral is down. And so is the door. So is he, right? Yeah, looks like he's down too. It's six forged iron to heal, I think. Okay, I got a light. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have forged iron. Dang, one more hit, friends. I am dead, and I do not want to die. No, sir. Don't block the door. I'm only got 13 health, one hit away. I guess I could eat some food. That might give me some temporary health. A little bit of health, I mean. I gotta get some health here, just a minute. Me too. But there's no hope. No hope for me. So we're just gonna... Jeez, man. See, I can't have him jumping up behind me because I will die for sure. So why don't we... I hear him moving around. It must be through that wall. you have to wait till tomorrow, huh? Uh, uh, I think there's one on the other side of this wall. I'm going to keep crawling through in the hopes that I uh, do all right. Let's see here. I'm going to help her out. Where's my pickaxe? Are you hitting this one? No, you're not hitting that one. But you're hitting the one next to it, though. So we'll just break this down, see if she's on the other side. Nope. Yep. I'll be back in a minute. I have to take a bio break. No problem, Moss. Uh, I may not be able to protect you, by the way. I'm crouched on a safe place, I think. All right. I don't like that some of my uh, shots pass right through their torso. Must be, you know, a modicum of lag or something. That was a that was a mis that was a miss on my part though. Okay, let's keep. Searching. Searching and hoping. Because this is just a fetch. So all I have to do is find my bag. And that will be enough for me. But you know what? We're so close to the loot, I will probably stay for the loot. Can I close this door? Yes, I can. Good for me. Um, you know, I think exactly it is. Sure. Um, I think it is Tyranthir. But I don't really know much about the, it. Uh, I know that you're in the, the field. So that probably means more to you than it does to me. Are you someplace safe? No. Well, I've only got arrows. I don't have any, any weapons. I'm going to wake someone up. I'm sure of it. I might be able to take one hit now. Before it was one hit and I die, I might be able to take two before dying. So we're going to have to be extra careful. Peek around every corner. Man. There we go. 
I'm like, that shelf is definitely lootable. Oh, freak. He's behind me. Help me. Uh. There's a light. Yep. Well, it turns out I could take three hits, friends. Maybe if I, uh, I overeat, I can heal a little bit. Not the best way to ration your food, friends, but I'm caring a little bit more about the immediate future. Looks like they're on the other side of this wall. I wish I could get the sledge back. Yep, looks like they're right here. Whoa, that's a whole horde right there. They must be coming from somewhere else. They're about to break through, Moss. You should run. Actually, I'm going to leave this here. Ah. I see. I get you. Oh, jeez. Maybe that's why I, occasionally they're passing through. <laughs> passing through. Um, it's <laughs> it's just a prillic one hit, and I'm a dead man. So I would prefer not to be hit at all. Um, but yeah, that must be why sometimes I'm shooting them through the chest and still not hitting them. But to be fair, that doesn't happen that often, okay, guys? <laughs> That's right, that's right, Abrilic. <laughs> With the way I do it right now, it'll just bring in more zombies. Okay. Man, that was scary, wasn't it? It sure was, but they dropped some loot. Please have food. I mean healing. Please have healing. Or light. I'd be happy with some light. Okay, they have some food. Um, and cowboy boots. I'm wearing iron right now. Okay. Let me, we can scrap that. All right. Uh, I hear another one beating on a wall. Do you know where he is? Oh, I I'm killing this guy in the in the ambulance. Oh, that's ironic. Okay, cool. Cool, Tyranthir. Yeah, that does sound interesting to me. It's neat that you so know so much about it. Hey, welcome I don't, back, I can Viking. only take one hit, so I yeah. gotta be real careful. I might be able to survive two, unless they're green or a biker. Then then, then it's yeah. no good for me. Here. What do you got? I got 40 health. Yep, that's uh. me too. Well, there's... That was a fat guy. Oh, come on, baby. Dang, that hurt. Well, I got hit once. All right. That hurt. We do not have anything that will heal us. Yeah, we do. Hey. What are you doing here, big guy? <laughs> I like that, Tyranthir. But hey, you know, um, knowledge is knowledge. And uh, useless knowledge is better than no knowledge at all. You're not going to come up here and kill me, are you? Because you are feral. Who put the ladder there? <sighs> Whew. 
It's like he was given an invite right to my zombie friend here. Hey, buddy. Jeez. Moss. Don't die. You're giving them little ladders to get everywhere I want to hide. No, I. they can get up here. Oh, there you mean. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was dead for a second. You faker! Well, stay safe. Maybe we can get morning. Yeah, it's going to be about 15 minutes. I feel like she'd be used to it by now, Tyranthir. I mean, being married to the King of Chaos himself. Like, e even if the strangest thing came out of your mouth, I think she'd be like, yeah. Predictable. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Can I get pick this up? Yeah, lady. That's right. Pick that up before you could climb on it. I can hit her, but she can't hit me right now. I like those odds. Yeah, I found your satchel. If you come around front by the the uh, tr the uh, ambulance. Uh, okay. I want to see if I can't grab this loot though. <laughs> well, that's just the uh, the beauty of entropy, uh, Tyranthir. Even if you expect the unexpected, you never really know what's going to happen. Careful there, Moss. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, you went into the front door, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We got some zombies. They're alerted. Look at us, Moss. We're still alive. I haven't got my thing yet, though. I gotta get it before I die, because otherwise I fail this quest. Oh, here they come. I knew there was gonna be one of them in there, you know? Ah, it's a big mama. Hey, babe. And I want to get my sledge, too. Dang. Shot her in the heart a couple times. Then in the eye. Dang, she's so strong. Nice, Moss. Good to have some Overwatch. Oh, yeah. Guess I'll take this lockpick, huh? Just in case I run into another one of those locked chests. There's always the possibility that it will open in one lockpick, even though it's not likely. Oh, jeez. That's what we're going to do, friends. Locked. No. Got more zombies. I don't know if two Molotovs make any difference. Yep. 
Probably not. I mean, if they have the the fire debuff, I'm betting it doesn't stack. Just die already. Bring him around again. I just uh, killed him instead. Good. Man, they do such a good job of making this place look real. This definitely looks like a buffet. They even have these little uh, food trays. So cool. Yeah, you yeah, you see what I mean, Aprilic. It's just it's nice. I mean this could definitely be a place here in Arizona. Man, what were those guys doing lurking outside of a bathroom? At least it was the male bathroom. Found your satchel here, Moss. It's in the uh, men's restroom. Uh, make Thank sure to you. wash your hands. After I pick it up? Yeah, that's right. Oh, it's right here next to your uh, slammer here. Where the heck is the loot? I haven't found it. Just collected yeah. it all. It's in here. Oh, okay. Oh, this one was yours, Moss. Good thing I didn't see it because I thought it was mine. <laughs> Um, yeah, I agree with you, Tyranthir. Actually, some of it is pretty common. And the burnt forest, too, um, looks a lot like next to Yellowstone. Um, I know Yellowstone is in Wyoming, but, you know, there's like, uh, kind of goes into Arizona territory as well. Um, and so, yeah, it looks pretty realistic. This one, though, I mean, we're like almost entirely forest. Check that out. Look how much forest there is in this. This, ran this one's a randomly generated map. And, of course, Arizona is not that green. Oh, a deer. Hello, my dear friend. That was not a pun. All right, I can't fail right. the quest now. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I left already because if you found your thing and I found my thing and you found the loot, that's good yeah, enough for me. Got it. Uh, okay. Hey, there's a dead deer there. Take it. Yep. Sorry, my lovely. You guys notice that once I put the cat treats in the puzzle, Charlie's left me alone. I'm just a meal ticket to her. Just kidding. She's a sweetheart. So, I know she loves me as much as an animal can love. Well, I should be able to make bacon and eggs now, finally. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it's about time. You know, Moss, I'm seriously surprised that we lived. Me too. Especially getting trapped in that little room. Yep. I had about four near-death experiences. Uh, Moss, I put a uh, book that I've already read here in this drop mailbox if you want it. Right across the street. Thank you. Sure. I can't believe that took us all night. I can can't see anything. I know, right? <laughs> You're fortunate enough to have a headlamp. I'm still using torches. Yeah, but torches. once you turn your light on, once you turn the light on, then it's, uh, you know, you're right. really in trouble. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, good point. Hey. 
Well, you proved me wrong. Ah, you're yeah, giving me a bunch of garbage. Boy, Actually, this baseball bat's going to do it for me. Thank you. And, oh, look at that. A hunting knife. I want that. But I'm going to get this, let's see, crafting magazine bundle. Maybe I don't care about the crafting magazine bundles as much as I care about this hunting knife. A hunting knife. Pretty good. It's level five. A mailbox. Yeah, I'll huh? take the hunting knife. That's unusual, guys. Usually I go for the uh, crafting magazine bags. If I ever can, I usually get them. But a hunting knife, as I was discussing earlier on in the stream, I don't get them very often. How much money do I have? Where's my cash? Yeah, I could there use that. Shit, man. I treat you that good, and you don't even fucking tip me. All right. Let's swap out our good old sledgehammer. I was about to spend points on the sledgehammer, too. Glad I didn't, because now we're going to use this baseball bat. Good old bat. Dang it. You should have been on that one there, Morgan. You would have uh, really had excited. <laughs> yeah. It was it was bad. It sounded like it. I mean, I, I had several near-death experiences. Okay, so we are max on farming now. Which we may, we may have already been max, honestly. I wasn't looking. I recommend looking before reading all the magazines. But I did not. So... Oh, I gotta get a new uh, quest from this guy. I do like the baseball bat, friends. The baseball bat is really cool, and it makes a funny noise. Can I get the noise? No, nah, I have to hit someone. Nope, doesn't work if I hit Moss. Well, I found the second treasure chest. Good for you, Matt. Yeah, now I just gotta unlock the dumb thing. All right, we've got five points. What can we spend it on? If you want work, don't just stand there. Uh, and up your ass and get the job done. All right. Okay, cool beans. Uh, by the way, Aprilic, if you happen to still be around, it's all right if you're not. Um, but the other day when I was watching your stream, um, I guess I was re-watching the, uh, the recording. When you were playing Diablo 2 and you put your stats in one by one into each, into each attribute, my favorite part was when you said something like... Uh, you said something like, oh, this is the funnest part. And you like giggled and it sounded so sincere that like your favorite part was putting in, you know, one, one, one stat per attribute. And I, I love that for you. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm glad that that's your favorite part. You know what I mean? It's good to get joy from the small things. Well, all of you guys are injured, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A bag for that way. I like that. <laughs> I love that. Joy in the small things. So you have enough small things and the big things won't matter, right? The the bad things. The big bad things. That's what I mean to say. Uh, let's get one of these here. Hey, I agree with you, Aprilic. Uh, you know how I feel about all that. I'm a big fan of, you know, just doing things your way. Um, that reminds me of that old commercial, right? Have it your way. Is that Burger King? I don't remember. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, big proponent of that. Doing it how you like it. 
Subway. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, Subway, if I'm not mistaken, has been sued a couple so times foul. recently. So I, I don't know if they're still around. I mean, I, I guess I see them occasionally. So they must be around, but certainly not as big as they once were. Jared, it's not his fault, guys. All right. I'm going to do another quest, gentlemen. I got to take this step back to the base. I'll join you. Hey, do you guys know where the desert is? Has anyone found the desert? No. I have not. Because I need to find some aloe vera. Running around without any uh, healing equipment is kind of a bummer. It is. And oh, yeah. All mine. I get you. Last quest. Yeah, I'm sure that's especially hard for you, Aprilic. Um, so often, I don't, so by the way, I don't know if you get this experience, um, but so often people assume that if you have a health condition, you're just faking it or making it up, you know? It's like, buddy, I'm not giving you a hard time um, for my health. Actually, I guess I am. <laughs> what I mean to say is, you know, I'm not doing it for fun, okay? There's a reason why I'm having you do it this way. Hey, check it out. We found some of this. That was interesting. Right. When you run over a chicken, they actually bleed for a second or two. But you know what? That lying. Yeah, so acrylic, it looks like the new update. They're gonna have blood effect. It. Uh, so if you shoot a zombie, there'll be blood splatter and some other stuff. I think they're slowly releasing it into the game with the chickens and stuff right now. It's short-sighted. Yeah, it was all over the ground. I was surprised. It's short-sighted, and it makes it difficult for people who have real problems. You know, um, it's selfish. I'm well, not if a you want to wait for a second for me to dump this stuff, I'll be there, Sean. Uh, yeah, you can take your time. I'm going to stop by at the nearby trader and because I have to turn in a quest at his. It's going to be about two kilometers round trip, so it shouldn't be too long, but it won't be short either. My uh, One of my family members has celiac disease, and it's pretty bad. And recently, I don't know if this is the way it is in Australia, friend, because, you know, being on the other side of the world, sometimes things are a little different. Um, but it became popular a few years ago for people to claim they had celiac disease when they didn't. You know, oh, I'm gluten intolerant or et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, of course, that kind of made my uh, sister-in-law's problem a little bit... Uh, more difficult to handle, you know, because then servers didn't believe her. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, that's funny, Abrilic. Okay, yeah. So it sounds like it was the same in Australia. Yeah, it's like this big craze that everybody just assumes that... And she's kind of like you, you know, where it's pretty bad. Like, she can't really mess around with it. Um, so it was a shame to see, you know, people not take her seriously when it is really a big, serious problem and it should be taken seriously because it's a serious problem. And unfortunately it doesn't because other people are crying wolf, so to speak, which is lame. Happens the same thing with like, uh, service animals, you know, service animals used to be you know, widely accepted, normal, and then all of a sudden people were like, oh yeah, this is my service animal, but it's not. And then all of a sudden you had to start having like laws put in and companies started making policies and it made it harder for people who really do have service animals to to use them in public. Mm -hmm. Right. How do you know when those conditions are set? Up? Like, do you just like guess? Like, hey, I wonder if I can uh, handle gluten today. Or do you like feel it? Yeah. Let me know. Let me know how that works. What's up, Bob? You did it. Great job, traveler. Actually, if you've got, let's see, East buried supplies. I'd have to come back here. I guess I've got friends. Yeah, okay, we can do this. 
I'll take your buried supplies. I'm in a bit of God bless you and good luck. Oh, Trader Bob. I see. A tense intestinal bleeding. That sounds like a risk that's not worth it. Oof. That sounds awful. Awful. We're not going to buy his ammo. Ooh, I want those nerdy glasses, but I'm going to find my own, so I'm not going to buy them. Hmm, I see. That is tough, my friend. That is tough. This guy's not selling me any medical equipment, is he? Nope. Bob. Why you do this to me? Alright, that's going to be it then. Okay, so if your immune yeah, system is strong, you're more likely to be able to handle the food. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? <laughs> See, that's the sound I'm talking about. That little ping. That's such a funny noise, friends. I would use the bat more often just for that noise. Ironically, the... Um, The weapons, they upgrade to, like, less cool versions of themselves. You know, this bat, it's hilarious. It has that funny noise. Um, but then it upgrades to the steel club. And the steel club is, I mean, as far as stats go, it is better in every way, friends. Better in every way. But uh, it's also less fun. I feel that way about the pump shotgun um, and the automatic shotgun. The automatic shotgun is uh, an improvement in every way. But the pump shotgun, oh, there's something satisfying about cocking that shotgun when you're done. Okay. Aprilic, I feel like your body attacking you is some kind of metaphor. Oh, I made that east? I thought... Guys, I thought that was east. That's west. Yeah, I'm putting two duke collectors <laughs> um, down. It's like a metaphor, so if right? If I'm not in the game, go ahead and harvest the water. For, um... I'm going to start searching for the desert. Your family's supposed to love and protect you, but yours was kind of toxic. Well, your body's supposed to take care of you, and it's eating itself. It's a real bummer. I feel for you. Right. Yeah. Things become normal. A new normal. You guys normal. hear me about the water? Yes. Uh, sorry, what was that, Moss? I put two dew collectors down. If I'm not in the game, go ahead and harvest the water. All right, thanks. Dang, a bicycle threw me off. 
interesting. This uh, this bat is a huge upgrade from that stone sledgehammer. I mean, it should be, of course, because the stone sledgehammer was not only in level 2, but it was, of course, made of stone. But I can really feel the difference. Hey, chicken! Alright, I guess you survived. Because uh, I don't care to, to get off my seat and kill you. Are you on your way to the uh, trader or to your quest? Uh, yeah, I am. I might stop at uh, my base though on the way because it's on the way, so I might as well stop and empty my inventory. But my inventory not very full, so it'll only take me a second. Actually, I've changed my mind. It is not on the way, so I'm going straight to my quest. I like to imagine those two who were having a romantic getaway. Was that the gas and gas quest you're going to? Uh, let me see. Pass and gas plaza. Yep. You want to join us, uh, Carl or Matt? I'm good. I'm I'm looking for the desert. Yep, give me that. Good luck. I'm surprised. Maybe I didn't get a quest because I should have a tier three quest too. Let me go to the, to the trader and pick up that uh, quest. I must have. I thought I picked one up, but it should be a tier three. I don't know what we're gonna do if, by some stroke of ill fate, we don't even have a desert. Like, what if we only have the forest and this entire random map? I don't well, think I'm at the happened. top of a mountain right now, and the city that you guys are next to, there is zero desert near there. So I'm going to go on the other side of this mountain range and see if it's over here. Careful, you're hitting the the edge of the map. You'll get radiation if you're not careful. I got you. I think your quest is over there close to my place. Holy cow, this, this map is huge. It's really big, yeah. I think we need to go... Um, if you're looking at the map, I think we need to go to the right of the city. It's the only thing that makes sense as far as this map goes, because I've been hitting nothing but woods going the way I'm going. Yep. I actually built a base... Uh west of where you are right now and that's all woods as well oh i forgot to pick up my dang robotic sledge man sean bummer let me go back and pick it up darn it i should be right by it let's, let's see if see i can here. oh i'm not out of my pot lock picks i almost call them pocklicks guys that's not what they're called You guys better hurry, though. We're going to hit nightfall soon if we're not careful. Is that thing going to blow? I bet it would blow if I blew up that... Uh... Don't you think we should have the sledge? Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you want to get it, Moss, that's fine. I don't remember where it's at. Do you? Um... It was the playground, that's right. No, I think it was not the playground. Oh yeah, it's the buffet. Look for the buffet. No, I don't see it on the map. How do you see them on the map? No, I just remember the buffet was where we were when... This is the last place I saw. it on the map? I have no idea where the buffet is on the map. Are you sure it wasn't... We just did the playground, though. That's where I used it. Well, we did the playground, then we did the buffet. The buffet took us all night. I 
I don't have any recollection of where the buffet was. That's the one problem with those stupid sledges. You, you put them down, you forget it. Yeah. I know I would all the time. Well, found the edge of the map. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> yep, you can't go yeah, any further south than that. It's got to be above us, but seriously, this map is huge. It was 166 meters away from the trader. I remember that. You might have to start without me because I'm 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 not finding this place right away. All right. Um, it, I don't remember what it was called, but it was a buffet. All right, Carl, you want to start this with me? Let me finish these gas pumps. Yeah, no problem. Take your time. I'm just searching on the inside here. So whenever you're done, let me know, and I'll come out and start it. What? You guys wanted to drop me into that trap? Yeah, right. Hey. Well, I found the playground. Did we use it at the buffet, you remember? Yeah, it's in the kitchen. Oh. Circled back around. Ooh, friend, you are moving too fast for me. I found it. So if you got a minute, I'll be there. Yep. You got time. You know what? This baseball bat is so fun. Why don't we put a, a perk into it? Make it a little bit better. Pummel Pete. Uh, well, Mike's no. coming. I'm gonna go take a bathroom break. No problem. to check on uh, my mom and make sure she's up. She, it's 12 o'clock. Okay. Say hey to grandma for us. Will do. I'm going to come over there before I do it, so I can be ready. By the way, when's the next horde night? 21. 21. I would expect birds here. But I guess not. Okay, I'm 
gonna go check on her. I'll be right there. Oh, look, there's a zombie coming down up there on top. Be careful. It's gonna come down, Carl. Carl's AFK. Welcome back, Carl. That guy was big. Let's see how long this is going to take me to uh, break open. Uh, okay. Just 25 hits. That's not too bad. Not as bad as early game, you know, where it takes 25 hits to take out a single, uh, single block. Oh, did you, Aprilic? Which encampment are you referring to? I might have missed that part of the stream. Ah. <laughs> ah, death squeak. Okay. Yeah. Kind of the same thing that I was doing earlier, right? That like uh, that little scream. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I like the way you put it. Death squeak. It makes it sound adorable. Oh, hey, buddy. You were waiting to drop on my head, weren't you? But I knew you were coming. I didn't know it, guys. I've never done this one before, but I suspected. I've been playing this game long enough to know to look up. Zombies come from above a lot. Looks like I found something. It's not the desert, though. What is it? Town of some sort. Oh. It's not a... Still uh, in the wooded area. Yeah, okay. It's got quite the large tower in it, though. Oh, shotgun messiah. Let's throw another one of those. I think I'm going to post up here for the night. Yeah, guys, it's going to be nighttime here. See, what did I say about come quickly before it turns nightfall, right? I remember saying that, and look where we are now. Come here, buddy. Well, let's get it started, then. Are you guys ready? Well, we got a whole bunch of them over here. 
at the... Behind you, Carl! Nice, Sham Chowder! Gotta love that. Hydration? Nope. Good thing. Oh, good. I found the loot. Which means this place is going to be filled with zombies. Oh, wow. Come here, darling. No, whoa. We got, you got friends. Fast. Hey, no touching. I hurt. Let's let's take our sham chowder. Looks like we're going to be doing this one at night. My allies took too long to get here. But I'll be able to double loot this place, so... Not the end of the world. I love these boxes that only have one magazine. Can you imagine putting one magazine in a box? Like, what kind of mad man are you? How tough is this going to be to break? So I do 100. So I'm going to have to hit this thing 50 times. Oh, no, I shouldn't do this, but I'm kind of like already committed. I mean, crap. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the same. Right, Aprilic? That makes sense to me. Are you going to spawn hey, on I your bed? I think they're all down. Yeah, I'm going to spawn on my bed. Take, you take your yourself all the way home. You have your bike, right? I do. Yeah. That's good. All right, let's get this thing started. So tell me, Aprilic, did, did that American uh, lotto ticket win? I guess did not, huh? Gone? Probably. Yeah, I'm here. I'll be out in just a sec. What just doing, open, uh, opening up this chest. Uh, I don't really care about any of that stuff. You double looted, huh? Yeah, I mean, I was here, so I figured I might as well. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, I get you. Yeah, we, we do. We call them lotto tickets. And you guys call them scratchies, I guess. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. I'm ready to start. I've been yeah, ready I know for a while. this one. This is the one that's right across the street from my base on this other game. So, are you sure you guys want to do this with me? Because it's going to be tough. Hey, Matt, you're nearby. Yeah. If you want to join us, you can. I mean, I don't mind waiting at this point. We're going to be doing this at night anyway. Uh, yeah, give me one second. I'll be right over. Hey, one of you guys want this? It's a level 5 bone knife. I have one. No. Nope. Let's think about a defensive position. That makes sense. Where we could uh, put that. That makes sense. Hey, Carl, you want some level 4 scrap armor for your legs? 
Yeah, it looks like you need it. Here. If you want it. You coming, Matt? I am indeed. You're going completely the wrong way. Uh, I have to stop the trader real quick, and then I'm coming. All right. Uh, that's so... Okay. Guys, I arrived here at 1 p.m. Well, I have one Band-Aid on me. That's all I have. You know what we should do is we should put a ladder on top of that uh, press and go gas once the thing starts so we can fight it from up there. Okay. Uh, okay. Sounds good. I wasn't really listening, guys. I just kind of agreed. So now you all know that if I ever say, uh, okay, that means I wasn't listening. Telling you all my secrets. Okay, heading to you. Copy? Yep. Copy. Thought you were calling me Poppy. I Poppy. Oh, That's we have right. to take this. We have to take this thing off because they will get to us. Once we do that, we ah yeah. <laughs> we'll have to take that pipe off. I like that acrylic. You're pretty good at uh, responding to uh, YouTube comments. Is this another passing gas? Yeah, but it's a passing gas Big plaza, one. so it's a little different. Okay. Okay, I'm coming back out so I can start this quest. It's going to be tough because it's going to be at night, guys. Yeah, but we if we right. if we put if we put our things up to you know, I'm going to put that ladder up. Go ahead and start it and then I'm going to don't go in, don't bring them out. But seriously though, Pearl, like I'm glad you take a break on uh, weekends. Everybody Might needs a break. Up on the roof. Okay, are you guys ready for me to hit this? Yes, unless Morgan's not close enough. Oh, this is not my quest. Not mine. Oh, it was Moss's. It's mine. I guess I couldn't have done this quest anyway, guys. Hmm, yeah. Well, sleep's a good break, Brillick. You know, we haven't found the desert. Maybe I should pick up some of this gasoline. Okay, let's get a ladder up on top of that uh, that roof. Not having any biome but the forest is going to be its own challenge in this game. I'm kind of concerned about it, to be honest. Because that means I won't be able to get uh, aloe vera. Uh, unless I, you know, once I start putting it in my own uh, garden, of course. And I'm not going to be able to find oil shale at all. And that's going to be tough, because I'm going to have to find... Uh, Gasoline, other places. I see, yeah. I get you, Aprilic. No real break, huh? I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you do you usually do that from your phone, Aprilic, or do you do it from your uh, PC? Okay, that should do it. I sensed that moment of panic when you had to reload. Yeah, that was fun.
Ah, uh, okay. That's very cool. I would normally leave these aloe vera seeds away, but like I was saying earlier, if we can't find the desert at any point, those aloe vera seeds will make a big difference for us. So I'll carry them with me for now. Yeah, that was... right oh jeez. What the heck just happened? You got hit by a lumberjack. Those uh you're about to go too, Moss. You better be careful. Jeez, he walked right by me. <laughs> you almost went, Moss. You're right. That's what I had get for having my light on. Well, I guess I'm going to have to use this Band-Aid. Why am I encumbered, man? Hanging out at the middle of the night, encumbered on top of that? Foolish. Okay, we're dropping some stuff that I don't care about. Using that. You know what? Might as well use that too. Why not? Level six shovel. It's stone, so I don't really care about it. it only took four arrows for that All one. right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop that and that. There. Not encumbered anymore. All right, you inside there. Come here. Uh, yeah. Make sure you bring him out. Okay, we see ya. Alright, we're gonna light these guys on fire. What'd you do with the other bow there, Moss? Oh, you know, I thought there was more than one on I'll the other side of the you. store. There is. Okay. Good to know. That'd be way better than a level three wood bow. I'm gonna return my search of the desert. Good luck. Seriously, you're doing a service to us all. No worries, man. Here, I already got the death. Go. I'll come up and give you the bow. Looks like they're uh, they're both just waiting there for me to to uh, clear everything out. Yes, I am a prelic. This one is random. So seriously, I've never seen a forest this large. I mean, it's kilometers long. Um, so I have no idea where the rest of the biomes are. Thank you. Like, I hope we have other biomes. I've never been on a map where it didn't have all the biomes. So, we'll just have to see. Plus, if you're going to give me one biome, don't give me the forest. Man, that is the least exciting biome. Uh, we need frames. How many can I make? 500? 200 will do. You know where all the loot is, don't you? Uh, yeah, I just did this one. 
but it's on the inside. I'm not really um, too worried about picking it up because, you know, it's yours. So I wasn't really going for it. Are you with it, though? Or is it, are we done? No. We've still got to clear. You'll have to make your way to this to the roof if you want to get to it. That is not what I want to hit. Sandbags. Give me a break. Do we have any torches? No, we must have left our torch somewhere. Can you make any torches? Nope. That's what I have to do. My uh, my phone. Whenever I receive emails, it gives me the yeah, noise the um, that you get when you walk through a portal in Diablo 2. You know what noise I'm talking about. I can't like recreate it with my mouth, you know, but you know what noise. Oh. We're at on the roof. <laughs> hey, get out of here! Hey, get out! Hey. Jeez, dude. I see. Yeah. Okay, All right, buddy. Um, Come here. I'm up here. Yeah, I don't know guy. where you're at, though. I guess you went. Down. Uh, yeah. You got to make your way to the other side of the. You got to be on the roof, and then there's a door. Not a hatch, a door. Oh man, I woke him up. Oh, yeah, I bet you get a lot of alerts, that right? Uh, because you're probably connected to your Discord on your phone. Yeah. So, um, my, my text messages are uh, Navi from uh, Ocarina of Time. You know the, Yissin! You know what I'm talking about. Um, and so once I had it connected to other things as well, it was like hitting way too often and it started bringing me back to the 90s when this door. Navi was interrupting everything. And so that's what, so I changed some of the alerts to the Diablo 2 portal sound and then left the texts as uh, Ocarina of Time. Mm hmm right. How many hits did this take last time? Oh yeah, 25 hits. Ah, okay. Switch down the hatch. Uh, the hatch should bring you to the, the main door. Uh, there's not really anything in there, Moss. Right. Just a bone knife and something else. I needed those arrows. Oh, good. You using a crossbow? Yep. Nice. Uh, is this the way I came up? I can't even remember. Okay, now where? Uh, down these stairs, I think. I might have gotten a little turned around. Hey, cowboy hat mod. You want it, Moss? I don't... Yeah, I do. Um... Freak, man. Jeez. That hurt. I'm, not, I'm having trouble finding the stairs going down. Let's burn him. 
What the heck? Oh good, it did, it did burn. For a second I thought it didn't even hit him. Oh man, this cat hair on my nose. It's because she rubbed on my face, you know? It's the I worst. Make an egg now. Hey, congrats. Ooh, I found the school. Always good loot in the freaking high school. Thing. Yeah, that's true. I cannot find the stairs down. It's right here, Mouse. I just saw your light pass. Yeah, Carl's with me. Where did you get in here, Carl? I'll come back up and get you. Thank you. Sorry, Moss. I was just a little busy with some zombies, so I couldn't do it. No problem. All right. Here, here. Oh, finally. Let's make ourselves a torch. Hey, you want this? I'm going to drop this cowboy hat for you, Moss. Back up! That's two cops. I think I killed one of them. I'm going to throw a Molotov. Okay, I'm going to open the door here in a second. I got to go get mom up. I'll be back. No problem. That was a close call, friends. Sounded like there's hamburger all over the place. Yeah, that's right, Carl. Meat stew. Lovely. Oh yeah, that thing's way too tough. I don't think I have any lockpicks, so... All right, looks like uh, the last of the zombies are with the loot. Oh, I already have one of these. Uh, hey, Carl, you want these uh, BDU bottoms? Careful there. Dude, that thing almost killed you. Here, take these uh, BDU bottoms if you want them. Okay. Was that the Coke machine? It sure was, man. That thing has an attitude.
thing. That's actually pretty good to find. All right, uh, is Moss in a relatively safe spot? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna do this loot here. Here they come. We're going to break these shelves here. John, have you taken this mountain pass, past the city? Uh, I will be able to check in a moment. East of the city. Just a sec. Uh, no, you're in an area I've never seen. Okay. You're still in the forest? I just killed the last guy. Nice. Still in the forest. Dude, I am seriously concerned that we only have the forest in this area. Like the whole map is forest, which is really gonna I haven't suck. seen anything but that yet. Yep, this loot in here, Carl. This one's uh, mosses. Yep. Hey, what if I do end up finding the desert? I'm not going to want to make the trek back. <laughs> yeah, really. Massive map. Yeah, it's a big one. You know, those Molotovs really came in handy. Hey, that's a deer. Are you thinking of building in the desert? Or do you just want to know if there's other biomes, period? Both. Originally, I was going to build right. in desert or winter, but I, you know, rode around, couldn't find it. So I started building in a forest. All right, well, I'll let you know as soon as I find something else. I should be coming up on something soon, if there is anything. Yeah, I won't be able to reset the map, at least not that I'm aware of. So if we do have all forest, we are stuck with all forest. Never seen anything like Talk it, though. That. Uh, what other food can I make? I guess I'll just look on the campfire. That'll be easier, right?
normally just following a road, it brings you to the other biomes. But so far, it's still forest, and I'm almost five kilometers away from you guys. Yeah, that's why I'm seriously concerned. That's all we've got. So, I guess I actually can make Come a bunch back. of stuff. <laughs> That's right, well, Tyrant there. Come in here. You're. I know it's a delicacy where you come from. They're safe here if you can open it. I can't open it. Or a, a vending machine. Cash. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's 5,000. You get a lot of beating. <laughs> she saw you with Tyrant there. I run out of You've been spotted. Control. You had some, huh? Good for you. Not enough. All right, let's just bring that, and that will be food for us. And what do you think we're going to need at our other little base here? Glue, probably. And engines. Cloth. Make a coffee. Damn it, back up. Why don't you go ahead and take those boxes over there and stuff too, yes, Carl? Yes, we can. You want them. Okay. All right, the rest can stay here until we come back for it. Hey. I don't know if you're really stingy with your wood acrylic, but I am so stingy. I, I know some players who put like 2,000 wood on their campfire and walk away. Not me. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You do that then. Yeah, that's what surprised me uh, yeah. here is mm -hmm. that, you know, I saw the... Uh, level three quest but you said it was yours brutal so you must not have had one you must have forgot to get one yeah i must have that must must be it wow that's amazing i feel like that's a lot of wood friend i think i found the desert um tyrant here i also think that is a music. yeah found the desert oh you did about, About time, time, but yeah. Where the heck are you? Jeez, oh, you're far away. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I like wasn't ab video. able to... Uh, east. To give you the attention you deserve there, uh, Tyranthia. It's basically due east of you guys. Okay. Well, at least we know it exists. That's a big, that's a big difference for us. Are you going to stay out there? Uh... I mean, I have a bunch of stuff at my base that I'd like, including a forge, but it's so far away, man. It is. Uh, keep in mind that our uh, experience only shares over five kilometers. Well, you proved me wrong. Oh, great. So um, if I do decide to stay here, I'm on my own. Here, here is my mic still uh, still okay? Or is it crackling still there, Aprilic? So no, I won't be staying out here. I am going to try and grab some aloe. Sorry, friends. Looks like we're having some mic issues. Bear with me as I try and solve them. Let's do this one. Okay, I'm going back to my base, and I'm going to finish getting the mom up and feed her. No problem. I'll do this infested clear. Next time, 
Okay, so it looks like my mic is only crackling on um, Twitch Studio, guys, uh, if it's still crackling, because it's doing fine on uh, on Discord. So let me know if it uh, levels out or if I'm going to have to do some kind of workaround, a refresh. Oh, did that work for you, Prilic, at all? No, we're still having crackling. Oh, Twitch Studio, you're such a piece of garbage. Okay, how about that? Did that fix it? I'm trying different things here. So we can uh, get this crackling issue out of here. Sorry, guys. A brief, uh, there we go. We fixed the issue. Sorry, friends. Sometimes that happens, apparently. It happens to other people, too. So not just me. That's how I was able to find a solution. Um, for those of you who also stream, apparently, if you unplug your um, microphone and plug it back in, fixes the problem. Why that only happens on Twitch Studio? I don't know, friends. I'm hoping maybe if I give uh, Twitch enough problems, they'll fix it for me. Or fire me, you know, one or the other. Mm, wireless, yeah. Where the heck is my uh, bike? Right over here. I'm just glad you found any other biome, because that means the other ones are probably around too. Nice, Tyranthia, very nice. So that kind of solves all your problems. Yeah, that's huh? great. Ah, can you use it to change your voice? Just out of curiosity. Because that would be cool. Oh, I guess that's what you were saying when you said voice mod, huh? Okay. Dude, check it out. That's a tractor or whatever these things are called. I guess they're not called a tractor. But for those of you who do farming, you know exactly what this is. That is funny, Aprilic. I also love that this thing is full with a desk chair. How do I get in there? There we go. Wow, this place is kind of neat. Why don't we check it out? <laughs> you know, that is both hilarious and sounds just like you, Tyranthir. So did it sound like really squeaky or something? You know, like a prebubescent kid? Jeez. Oh, Hi, friends. Chipmunk filter. That is hilarious. Ow. I hit that guy in the head and he clutched his leg. His nerve pathways must be a little messed up. Mm. 
Wow, a lifetime license? That sounds like a pretty good deal. I feel like nowadays everything is rented, right? Streaming and your mortgage. Dang, man. So wing. I had like no stamina. That was my problem. Uh, Moss, did you ever find your thingamabob? Your pusher? Oh, wait, he's AFK, isn't he? Yes, he is. All right, well, I'll just assume he found it then. Where did I leave my bicycle? Did I pick it up? Oh, it's right over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear you. I mean, surely they'll give you the... Uh, they won't take your license away, right? I mean, you paid for it. Oh, I love these roads. These are new in Alpha 21. Or maybe Alpha 20. I can't really remember. But I love it. It just brings a whole new realism to the game. The cities are bigger. They feel more populated. Of course, the feral senses really made a big difference about how many zombies you get. Good good changes to the game, in my opinion. Oh, this place looks interesting. Have we looted this place? This place looks like we've looted it, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Oh, yeah, right. Who has a window that strong? All right, we're going to have to go in another way. There's got to be a door somewhere around here, right? But the good thing is I saw that bookshelf. Didn't look looted, which means we may be the first person coming in here. There we go. Or maybe it was a reef, uh, a respawn. Like nobody had been here for a week or however long it takes for the loot to respawn. Because I would suspect that that box would have the wood protecting it. But sometimes it doesn't, so we'll see. Take your potatoes. Ooh, sham chowder. We really got to get to the point that we build a uh, garden. Because our food is starting to get more and more complex. And I don't want to have to make bacon and eggs forever. Hey, yeah, big guy. I one beating on me here. Whoa, Paco. Oh, that's cool, Tyranthier. So it'll kind of give a, uh, a feeling of realism within the game. Like, wow, I'm playing with a real space marine, right? That's pretty neat. Now here's the real question, Tyranthier. Have you ever used your real voice on mic on your stream, or is it always the uh, is it always a false voice? Oh, buddy! No 
jumping. I hate those guys. It's their scream. I can't stand it. <laughs> I guess we'll never know, right? I guess we'll never know. But who knows? I mean, maybe this isn't even my real voice. It is, guys. Aprilic knows you, Tyranthir. She's heard your voice. She knows your deepest secrets. Your greatest fears. Your dreams and your hopes. Aprilic knows it all. Guys. Dude, what happened? Ow. Uh, I was exploring the desert and then I got killed. Bummer, dude. I hope yeah, you have your and... bike close to you. Nope, I was off my bike. Ouch. Dang. Dang. How yeah, are you gonna get back? Really huh. You could borrow my bike if you want. Thanks, Bob. Um Here's the thing, Aprilic. Um I very much believe that you it's want me real to unlock voice. It, for you? it sounds real. Uh I need to take a bio break anyway, so Although I mean Oh, and isn't it about time to log off? Uh anyway? Uh, I won't I don't think I'll have time. I think I'll be on for a little while longer. But you're right, we're about hitting that time. Yeah, I think I'll just save it for next time and just unload what I've stashed. Understandable. For now. Hey, but at least you found it. I did find it. I am just comforted that it exists. It is definitely a plus. And I was able to get a little bit of aloe vera. I think a great deal of it, Aprilic, boils down to some can't stand when others are successful. You know? So you have to find something wrong. I'm surprised I don't have any... Uh... Um, motors yet. You were asleep, buddy. To my engines? Yes. I found a couple, if you need one. I don't, but I just was surprised I haven't found any. Right. That makes sense, Prilic. Although, frankly, it doesn't help, guys. If you are having trouble in your life, don't beat up other people. It only makes you feel better for a short period of time, and then you ultimately feel worse, even if it's not connected. Because then you'll start looking at the world as these people do, where um, you think everybody's a terrible person because you are being a terrible person. So instead, go to therapy. Hey Morgan, I do have some arrows over here. Since I gave you that bow, I should give you the arrows that went with it. That's my suggestion. Go to therapy. Makes a big difference. Okay. I'll, I won't argue about that at all. Overcome the difficulties in your life and use it to be good and yeah, kind that I have to other three people. Engines. Yeah, that's nice. great. And then uh, look in trade goods and see if there's anything in there you need. Okay. 
I'll bring over the crossbow arrows I have. Great. They're all in ammo, by the way. Hey, big guy. Okay. I'm going to go do my buried treasure. Whoa. Oh, really? You know, that can be dangerous. Oh, uh, no. Buried treasure is different than the uh, buried supplies. Oh, buried treasure. Oh, never mind. You're right. Dude. <laughs> it's Carl, Tyranthier. That's why I suggest if you're going to bury a treasure, memorize the map. You know, don't write it down. Otherwise, Trader Joel will give it to one of us on a quest. Well, I don't really have anything else to do, so I'm probably going to log. All right. No problem, right. Matt. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, yeah love you guys. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Later. Oh, geez. Got a bunch of zombies around the base, the fort. <laughs> I love that that, that is your, uh, your way of revenge. And now that I know that, um, the next time my trash cans are knocked over by a raccoon, I'll know that I pissed someone off. Dang, that guy came in for a hug. You see that? I love that sound. That baseball bat sound. Pink. Hilarious. Hilarious. Ooh, an arrow rest mod. Okay. Why do I need to wear socks, Tyrant there? Tell me all the raccoon secrets. I'll be uh, adopted into the culture. Bang. Let me in. I have a fetch. <laughs> uh, it's a plain fetch tier three, or a fetch clear, or a clear. Are you interested in doing another quest there, Mir? Uh, yeah, I'll do another one. I got a tier three infestation nearby. Well, I have a tier. Let's see. Do you want a clear, or do you want a clear fetch? Um, sounds like the clear would be easier. But it really doesn't make any difference to me. Okay, I grabbed the clear. I should have checked what it was. Oh yeah, I usually do the one that's closest. It was. Oh yeah, it's it's, close. it's pretty close. Let me just stop up at base so I can drop off uh, the extra stuff I've got on me. I am encumbered. I don't know if any of you guys play Skyrim, but I always think of Skyrim whenever I think of encumbrance. You know, because you'll be walking along in the, uh, hey, you want the countryside. Some level four scrap chest iron. Uh, Morgan. And, you know, you pick up like a flower or something. Just say, let me see what I have. And that makes you hit your encumbrance rate. Mm -mm. Then you're not going anywhere. It's kind of funny to think that, you know, that's the straw that's that breaks the camel's back. Five padded. All right, I'll, I won't sell it then. Sweet. I'll swap you. I'm just going to put it in trade good. Yeah, yeah, Fallout. Exactly, Tyranthier. Very much the same thing. I mean, you know, they're essentially the same game, of course, just different themes. Yeah, I'll drop so, yeah. it off at Trade Goods, and then I'm going to go to my quest. Tyranthier, tell me, did you play Fallout 76? And if you did, did you enjoy it? Let me know. Are we going to do yours or mine? Who's closest? Uh, they're both about the same, uh, so it doesn't matter to me. I'll let you know when I'm done uh, unloading. 
or whoever gets there first will make the decision for all of us. All right. Dang! I hit that thing. I always, whenever I crash on this, I like picture, because when you crash on a bike, you go over the handlebars, right? Oh man, it's not the best. Yeah, and I bet it wasn't fun, right, Aprilic? I bet it was not fun. I bet you have scars to this day. I see. Yeah, I get you, Tyranthir. Um, that's kind of what I've heard from some others, that they like really wanted to like it, and then it really didn't do it for them. So I don't think you're alone in that sentiment. Yeah. Yep, skin the chin off. Yep, skin off your chin. Not at all surprised. I, In fact, so I don't know if this was the same in Australia, Perlick, but it probably was. Sounds like we've got very similar... Um, things going so you on think, in our cultures. Uh, clear um, fetches are harder than just fetches or clears. No, a clear fetch is harder than just a clear because you know it adds one other step. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, in the 90s, rollerblading was really popular here in the states, and so I've still got a wound on my knee that will never go away from rollerblading. You know, uh, let's, don't need that. But let's put it somewhere where my other ones are there that way I'll have you know a little bit of organization let's do it okay you guys are at the clear I'm on my way there now yeah I'm here oh, wait 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 wait. we want to bring food with us we do not want to go without food food must have it up here Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did we. Um, I had those, uh, those like wrist guards, you know, with like the plastic on them. I thought I was so dorky, but now that I'm an adult, I can see why my mom wanted me to, you know, wear them. Especially now that I have, you know, everlasting scars. But you know, when you're a kid, you don't really think about that. It's just like, oh, I don't want to wear a helmet. <laughs> uh, and water. Oh, the, the pads were the coolest thing, or were the uh, the rollerblades? I assume the rollerblades, but you know, you never know. Oh, okay. So you meant the the uh, the helmets? That's cool. All right, that's gonna be enough for us. Drop those eggs off. Yep, that's where we want them. The wrist guards, okay. Yeah, at least in my area, it was like more cool to have no protection, which, you know, it's not particularly wise, right? But, you know, being 12 years yeah, old or however old I was, safe. wisdom is not the uh, number one quality. Are you quality. still beating on that safe? Are you talking about the money thing? No, the treasure. Oh, that's right, I forgot. Oh, yeah. Luck. Doesn't yeah, that no thing have like 5,000 health? Yeah, and no way to make lock picks yet. Well, Moss, I'll be there in uh, just a moment. I'm rolling around the corner now. Okay, I'm here. Jeez.
Oh, is this this house? I think this is the one with the uh, the booby trap. But I'm not going to mention anything, you know? It's more fun if we fall into it. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Behind you, behind you. Let's uh, throw one of these, maybe. They all got past that. Yeah. Okay, so we know that the desert exists now, so I don't have to carry this uh, gasoline unnecessarily, so we'll leave it here. A BDU top? Do I have one of those already? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's right. And I'm not telling them about the booby trap, right? Uh, Moss, you want a BDU top? I've got, I just found one. Yeah, sure. I'd love that. All right. For those of you who have watched my YouTube channel, you know Coming exactly through. what uh, exactly what booby trap I'm talking about. I agree with you, Perlic. Right here, so be careful. Oh, that would make things a lot easier. Coming Whoa. towards you. All right, Moss. Here it is on the floor. <laughs> so Tyranthir, I'm coming to the realization that uh, you mean in real life, and that's hilarious to think that that's what acrylic meant. Acrylic's like, man, I wish I could set bu buildings on fire. <laughs> Which one's acrylic? I guess I don't know why that would be my my, my question. Bag. I mean, any any building, not a good idea. <laughs> oh man, Tyranthir, you crack me up. If it wasn't frowned upon. Everyone's like, oh, you burned that down that building? Cool. <laughs> Warm winters. Yeah. Well, it's all fun and games until someone decides that your building one should be burnt down, right? I guess that's why they make it illegal. They're like, this isn't very nice. <laughs> guy fell down the stairs. Mr. Clumsy. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> that, that, oh, yeah, that's a good point, Aprilic. <laughs> yeah. Catch on fire. That's funny. I feel like this is a very warlock thing to do. I, of course, I, I know what you meant, Aprilic. Um, I was also referring to in-game. It would be nice if you could burn down buildings. That, that way you could... Uh, well, on the one hand, it would make it a lot easier for you to tear down a building if you don't want it there, you know, rather than having to take out the entire foundation. They had a witch up here. Ah, you found the booby trap, huh? Yeah, the witch. Tricky, tricky. Look at ah. that. They put this... this this dummy in this bat in here I almost shot her yeah it, it's a really clever one the uh the ceiling above breaks if you're above it and it will drop you right inside with the with the uh, witch out yeah it can be deadly by the way those who of you who are curious uh, Moss and I we played left for dead for a long time together which is another zombie game, and they have a screaming zombie that they call a witch. And so Moss and I, we kind of call the screaming zombie in this game a witch or screamer inter interchangeably. So if that's why you're curious why we keep calling it a witch, even though that's not what it's called, a birdie. that's why. Oh, you killed the birdie. I sure did.
Dang, this is one reinforced broken window. Uh, did you get the loot in here, Moss? Not yet. It's probably in the attic. Yeah. Oh, that lady's coming out. We haven't got out. the bad guys yet. That's that thing's a deadly uh, weapon. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh dang! I'm sure you are, Tyranthir. If anyone's ready for I it, it's got to be you. Get my sledge. So, uh, what have you done to prepare? Do you have your ammo stocked, your food, um, your magazines? For reading material, guys. It's the kids nowadays, they're like, what magazines? Because, you know, all that stuff's done online now. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Aprilic. Really, just a joke. Oh, jeez. This guy's falling from the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, crafting magazines. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Crafting magazines. <laughs> okay, see, Moss, this is right above the uh, wardrobe here. So if you step on this, you fall right into the wardrobe. It's pretty neat. Big. <laughs> that is something that I find hilarious about this game, right? It's like, I don't know how to make uh, bacon and eggs without a magazine to show me how to do it. I think I just killed both of those guys with one hit. Good for me. The villain in everyone's story. Got a lumberjack up here. Well, Tyranthir, you're the you're the hero in mine. You know, that's just the way it is. All right, I'm gonna leave you to it, Moss. Uh, make sure to hurry though, because we've got an infestation that we have to do, and if we don't hurry, okay. we have to do it at right night. Now. But seriously though, you guys know that there was some kid who's like, "What magazines are they talking about?" Times have changed, friends. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, guys, that's that's why I have my uh, my stream marked as mature, okay? Yeah, I guess you're right, Tyranthir. You're, you're probably right. Breaking through the chest now. No big deal. I'll meet you over there. What do they call... Well, I guess I won't ask. <laughs> I can look that up. Like, like, what do they call them? I have no idea. Um... And then I realize if you know if I ask that question, then then the mystery is gone. So jokes are better if they're not explained. <laughs> oh man, I missed that camera. That's right. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're right, uh, Tyranthir. That wouldn't be a safe place for them, knowing that uh, I've got all those raccoons going through the trash. But I don't have to worry about it because I don't own any. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh, 
that's funny. That's, that's funny, Aprilic. Hey, this is the loot. <laughs> oh, guys. Do not be in the loot. <laughs> yeah, then you'll have to end up washing your hands, Tyrant here. Although, raccoons, they, uh, they do wash their food before they eat them. Eat it, eat it by the way, which is kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> That's right, Tyrant here. That would certainly be an unpleasant surprise, right? guy's leg is twitching. Uh, oh, helmet light mod. Yes, please. Thank you. Now we don't have to carry torches. Good for us. All right, I'm done. Am I coming to you? Uh, yes. Do you have Tech Junkie Volume 7? No, and I have one for you too. Okay. Oh, buddy. Guy, I'm right here. Yeah, that's right. No, he's got a friend. Buddy system. Whoa! No running. Hey, okay, I'm 70 meters away. Great. I'm going to stick it in this uh, truck here. I don't care about these steel arrowheads. If we get too over encumbered, we'll drop them. I too. I don't know if you have it. Thanks, Moss. Nice. Effective, though. <laughs> Are you ready for me to hit this, Moss? I am. Uh, Prilix trying to figure out a way to protect her garbage cans from the raccoons. You'll have to outsource it, though. This one's an infestation, so we should have double the zombies. And it's going to be nighttime in an hour, so we got to be fast. Oh, that's a lot of them. Hold on, I'm going to th throw a Molotov. Uh, do me a favor, Moss. Back up from that door. That might have hit him. Yeah, it did. Wow, this would be a good place for the wrench. <laughs> In other words, it depends. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to throw another Molotov there, Moss. Here they come. Hmm. 
Not bad. I think we're going to finish this one before nightfall. That is fantastic. Jeez! That was a mean trap. I walked right into it. That's my bag. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have those gloves, right? Here we go. Gonna stand on Moss's head. Um, I'm gonna try and trigger the last zombies before nightfall, so hopefully we don't have to deal with them while they're running. Okay, I think I got him. Oh, I got another one. Wow, that's a lot of them. Oh, I am not loaded. Nice! There's a book in here, Moss. I've got that. Alright, they're running. Careful, Moss. It's that uh, biker that I'm really scared of. I missed all three of those hits, by the way. And that one. Come on, buddy. Am I not reaching here? Yeah. You know, I think it would be, you know, traditionally, I, so this is my opinion, right? Um, I feel like you could pretty easily outsmart, you know, one zombie and, and take him down. But the more there are, the less, the lower your chances of survival, let's put it that way. And I guess it would also depend, you know, Tyranthir, are you trained in any uh, military combat or martial arts? Because that would help too, right? Way to go. Thanks, Moss. Behind you. See, what the zombies have on their side is that they don't have any self-protection right. uh, concerns, right? The green so, one's over there, your infestation there's over there. Thanks, Moss. Oh, <laughs> help you as a zombie. That's funny. I love that you're already considering yourself a zombie, my friend. 
you might survive. Who knows? You might survive. Um, and as far as, I don't know, I think it might because it would all be instinctual at that point. You know, if you have that kind of training, it's like a part of you. So maybe your zombie self won't be coordinated enough to do like, I don't know, a flying roundhouse kick. But you would certainly be stronger and faster than the regular zombie, right? And at the very least, you could lift up your leg to kick someone, right? <laughs> you don't you don't want to be a gnarly zombie. Let me know how that uh, how that relates. Drop that. I'm gonna drop that too. I think I picked up something Moss wanted, didn't I? I thought I did. Oh yeah. Hey Moss, I've got this iron crossbow bolt. You want it? Yeah, I use them. There. Got a zombie trying to sneak in somewhere. I don't know exactly where. I'll see if I can't get eyes on him. Oh, it's Here. just Arlene. Go home, Arlene. You're drunk. Ah, okay, I see. Whoops. So, are we talking about like radiation or? I see you got a helmet light. Or like turn it into like a huge tank or something. Yes, I did. Thanks for noticing, Moss. I'm very happy to find it. I'm going back to my base. Me too. They're running. Gentle Grove. Why does that give me the heebie-jeebies? Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I get you. Both arms massive. Yeah. You don't want... You want to look good as a zombie, right? You don't want to look all uh, asymmetrical. Mm-hmm. You're like the Brad Pitt of zombies. Let's dump this off. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, everybody's got to turn into a zombie at some point. That's the great thing about the zombie apocalypse is your survival is limited. Nobody lives forever. Eventually, you'll either die by zombie or you'll, you know, die by old by age or some other. And then you'll you'll turn into a zombie at that point. That's the horror of the zombie apocalypse, which makes it fun. I mean, obviously not fun in real life, guys. But fortunately, thus far, we haven't had any real life zombies. I'm going to grab these lockpicks since we're starting to pick them up. I picked the arrows up and dropped you off the arrows. Uh, so today hey, is great. is Blood Moon, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. I guess, are we going to do it or are we mm -hmm. going to wait? No, nah, we're going to do it next week. We've, uh, we're, we've already passed our time, so we'll end up doing uh, Blood Moon next week. We'll start with Blood Moon. Okay. Exciting. <laughs> Um. <laughs> I like that. I like that, Tyranthier. Just make sure you get that done, you know, before the zombie apocalypse. Although if things go really wrong, maybe that's the start of the zombie apocalypse. Maybe you're the first zombie, the king zombie, if you will. And you're the only one that gets the regenerative gene. All the other zombies, you know, they don't. So you live forever but everyone else doesn't. And while that does sound good, hey, at some point you're going to be the only zombie, the only zombie you left. Crossbow ammo on the ground, Mike. <laughs> I like that, Tyranthier. I do. 
I like that. Although your nemesis would be rubber bands. Where? Your bags, right there. Oh, I, I killed a zombie right there. You're on my bike. You're practicing yeah. running over things. <laughs> That's right. I wonder, would you move sideways from then on? Or still back to front? These are the questions that I need answered. The important ones. How many uh, skills did we end up with here? One. I thought I wanted to get one more point in strength. I think that's what I was saving for, and then I forgot, right? No, I need two. So that means I need three more points here before I can get minor 16. Well, four more points before I can get minor 69 or number five. So that's what we're going to save for, unless, of course, I forget like I did last time. <laughs> I like that tyrant there. Maybe maybe it's all mixed. So you got like the giant arms, you got the claws, but you can move sideways just as quickly as you can forwards. That would make you well, quite a dangerous foe minutes or so to come into contact with. Getting my uh base ready for Fortnite. Carl, do you want a level six stone spear? No, I don't do well with spears. I don't like him either. It, they are pretty easy uh, to miss with. A baton would be my preferred. Yeah, batons yeah, are great. Sean, Sean gave me a level one baton I'm using. Oh, the electric baton? That's right. Yeah. Tyranthier. And I feel like a raccoon would be particularly scary if it was man size. Holy crap. Holy crap. Like, raccoons are kind of cute until you consider them, like, being six foot two. So. Yeah. All right, gentlemen. I'm giving you the uh, the wrap up call. Okay. How much time? Uh, you you got a few minutes. You know, just do, do your thing. Yeah, it's all right, Tyranth here. Um, I mean, I, I guess it's just like being... Uh, <laughs> I like that. I, I like the way you put that, Aprilic. Uh, you have to reach things on shelves a lot. People like request you to pick things up. Um, but the thing that I find this like the oddest thing about being 6'2", so one of my students, more eggs he is... Eggs. He must be 6'6". Six, six. And growing because he's like 15. More, more okay. Me. <laughs> um, and it blows my mind like how much taller than me he is. I'm like, wow. Because I'm just not used to that. You know, I'm not the tallest person in the world, obviously. Um, but a six, pushing six, I don't know. He's six six or six seven. He's tall. It's crazy. Hey. I'm out. Thanks, Moss. Thanks for playing. I'll catch you uh, next week. No shame in that, Tyranthir. Right. That's how tall Moss is, and he's special forces. So, you know. Remember to take your height uh, isn't everything. Discord off. Plus. Talk oh, yeah. will talk. Will do. Plus, um, Tyranthir. Okay, I'm up um, on my place, and I'm going to shut her down, too. 5'10 five, five, is actually pretty tall. It's higher than average. So. Oh, thanks, Carl. Thanks for sticking around. You bet. We'll talk to you a little later. See you later. I'm going to pop us into just chatting here. Let's see. Is that going to work for me? Boom. We got it. Now I'm, you know, surrounded by the night sky. You guys can kind of see the edges of my uh, my house now. So, um, but yeah, 5'10". That's a good size. Um, definitely. That's still, that's a big raccoon, friend. That is a big raccoon. 5'10 raccoon. You know, I think this is the first time, Tyranthia, this is the first time you've seen me in full size, and now I can make creepy amount of eye contact with you, you know, looking right at you. 
<laughs> I'll make sure to do that, Tyranthir. Um, but sunglasses might not be strong enough. You know, it might still be staring right into the sky, uh, right into the sun. I'll need one of those like eclipse sunglasses, right? I don't know if you've ever seen an eclipse, but they hand out those like really dark sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tyranthia is like, stare into my soul. Keep looking. Um, fortunately for me, um, I uh, I can't really see you guys, right? So I'm just making eye contact with the camera. So I could stare at this thing all day. I could stare into it lovingly, angrily. I could do anything. And there's just be nothing you can do about it, except, you know, logging off my stream. <laughs> And by the way, if anyone could challenge you, Tyranthir, in eye contact, it would be grim. Um, and while I don't own a welding helmet, maybe I should invest in one if I ever find myself. Um, <laughs> I don't know why that made me want to close my eyes. I'm like, oh, no, Tyranthir is looking right at me. <laughs> yeah. So, Aprilic, you don't really like long eye contact, do you? I get that impression. Um, do you find it to be like too intimate or do you find it to be too aggressive? Let me know. Oh, sales. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You had to like look them in the eye and be like, buy my product. That's the worst. Yeah. I had to do sales for a while too. It's the worst job in the world. I know there are worse jobs, okay, guys? I'm sure there are worse jobs that I don't want to do, but sales is definitely up there. I don't like pushing people into doing things they don't want to do. I don't manipulate people. I'm honest. I don't lie. So... That's already three strikes. Not that all salesmen are liars, guys. Actually, sometimes the uh, the most successful salesmen are honest. And in fact, that's the best way to, to victory, in my opinion, um, because then you get uh, people who who come back. You know, honesty is the best policy. But uh, yeah, it was sales was tough, especially door to door sales. Not a fan. Not a fan. Yeah, because you knew how they felt. Too much. Uh, too much empathy, right? Too much empathy. Tyranthir, I bet you could sell me garbage and I would buy it. You'd be like, bro, have you tasted this? And I'd be like, well, I should at least give it a try, right? I, uh, I just realized that now my game is down. I can move my my screen to right in front of me so I can actually see when you guys uh, chat rather than like having to look down and you know in a way the free samples <laughs> I guess it does depend on the trash right I mean one man's trash is another man's treasure so I mean if you're getting me some really nice trash I might buy it and and sell it for 10 times its cost friend could happen could happen and it is so hot here hey aprilic thanks so much for sticking around um really appreciated you here in the stream today um just love your presence um and the good conversation that you bring to the stream thanks so much and uh i feel tyranthia i feel like that quote should be shared with all people like it should be like the name of a book that all children read all trash is treasure and i'm sure that would make a lot of people feel better see you aprilic um and tyranthia Thanks for sticking around as well. Um, having you here was a lot of fun and it was good to have the conversation and giving me a reason to buy a, uh, a welding helmet, you know, if I ever find myself in Arizona, which by the way, I've been to Arizona many times, so it could happen. Um, but for those of you who watched on the recording, thanks so much for supporting my channel. And if you made it all the way this far, I will be back on Wednesday, 1030 to 230 central time that's us central um, and we'll be doing deep rock galactic and then on friday 10 30 to 2 30 central uh, we will be playing against the storm for those of you who are big fans of seven days to die we will be back here next week 10 30 to 2 30 central um, and we will be dealing with the blood moon rising because it was day 21 when we logged off so that means we're immediately going to have a horde 
Ah, okay, cool. Good to hear that, Tyranthier. You know, I'm just super impressed that your job is to spray poison. Like, I think that's cool, uh, especially because I don't like bugs. Like, I understand that they have to be there, like, for the environment and all, but ugh, they creep me out. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's, I think, why typically movie design, movie designers that they, uh, they create aliens to kind of look like insects because it looks so otherworldly, right? But hey, nope, it's this world. This world has some creepy stuff. Creepy. I mean, if you don't believe me, just ask Cthulhu and he'll let you know. So uh, Seven Days to Die on Monday, uh, Deep Rock Galactic on Wednesday, and Against the Storm on Friday. Uh, you guys can send me a message in my direct messages if you'd like. Um, let me know what else you're looking for, what other games you'd like to see me play. Will I take them? Maybe. Maybe not. See, I only play games that I think are fun, so that's kind of my that's kind of my requirement. Um, but I will see you all on Wednesday. Tyranthir, again, thank you. I salute you. I appreciate you. And I will see you again soon. Bye, my friends.